Thank you. 
Hello and a very good morning, good afternoon, uh, welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby and welcome along to today's masterclass. Hugely excited about this because we have got your creator card, shape cards, uh, dies with the stamps. Now the excitement about this is palpable because we were chatting about this earlier on on Wake Up Call and loads of you saying how excited you are, the fact that we've got these dies back in. Loads of you not even realizing the amount of messages which came in going, what? The dies are back in stock? Yes, we have got the full bundle for you with the stamps and dies together. Uh, we have got so much excitement about the bottles which are in here. So much excitement uh, about the dress die which is in here as well, but you can get the the whole bundle today on this masterclass but before I take you through all of the details let's show you the kind of things that you can be making with this amazing collection and we've got an amazing guest to take you all through it my absolute fave it that's true it's the lovely Debbie Robinson how are you missus I am absolutely fine thank you very much we've been fed we've been watered we've been well looked after so we we're all ready and raring to go and I am really I'm really quite excited about this show this masterclass uh, Sarah pitched me an idea a couple of weeks ago and she said to me how do you feel about doing them and I'm like oh count me in let me just tell you I love create a card at the best of times and these are our beautiful classic and um, beautiful shaped gorgeous creator cards where you have got that lovely um, I, everything about these, the design of them and everything that you've got to work with them means that you can make these beautiful cards. I've done this in fabric, this one. Beautiful oh, I fabric love that. Some feathers fabric. Huh. Um, we've got a gorgeous teapot in here. So love you've it. got this beautiful time for tea. That's absolutely beautiful. We've got the gorgeous cupcake on here. Yes. These are what you're seeing. I'm going to take you through each and every single one of them. Um, again, taking it into other things as well, not just a shaped card, but what about adding it as a topper onto a thing like your box? So again, a really lovely design there and then one of my favorites is the beautiful beautiful it can be a beer bottle and it can be uh, oh look at this one we'll do, oh, we're to go do this the top one of a well. bottle. little bottle top that goes onto the top of a bottle so you could have a matching card with a matching uh, bottle that goes with it as well um, and what about making it into a cute little box as well for a little gift oh, so we're going to go and walk you through and talk you through absolutely everything one of my favorites because said ben i'm trying to I, i've i've got a few things i might be able to recreate something similar and maybe All not right. the exact one but how fantastic is this just by using one of our brilliant design team members just used a bit of old lace we were trying to work out what it were early weren't we ben we were going is it netting i know is it, like what it was is it ribbon um is it paper doilies because you could do that with a paper doily as well but how beautiful do these look so i am a little bit excited about this show they're a great concept a great idea from the creator card range where you've got that black instead of having to go out and find a template or try and draw one and cut out we've got a set of dies that do it in that one pass instantly and then you've got a set of matching dies that correspond and work with it so you can add those as the extra embellishments or you can use other things that you've got your crafty stash like your papers like your cardstock like your stamps to do lots of different ideas with your stamps as well really love these they have been brought back for a reason our sarah said debbie are you in yes i am well i'll tell you what if you're in and sarah's in I'm in. And I tell you what, I'm already seeing messages coming through of you guys going, oh, I'm so pleased these are back. Few of you saying, oh, I've got a few of these already. I want to get more. Today is the opportunity to grab them. Now we have got smaller bundles for you, but I want to take you through the main deal. If you want to get in touch, Facebook and YouTube is where you need to be commenting. Um, if you've already got them, tell us how much you love them. Tell us which ones you've been using the most. And if you haven't got them yet and you want to know the answer to any question, uh, get those questions in too. But it's been so long since we've had the dies in and now we can bring you uh, these four die collections with the corresponding stamps as well. They are just brilliant. I love the bottles that you've got on the end there. And as Debbie was talking about, you've got the ability with this collection to make it like whatever bottle you want it to be, really. If you want it to be a champagne bottle, you can do it. If you want it to be a, a bottle of Prosecco, you can do it. If you want it to be a beer bottle, uh, you can do it. And you've got loads of other dies within the collection to be able to sort of decorate that up to the exact specification that you want. 
and then on top of that 35 stamps to go with it again with things like for example cheers to you uh, celebrate congratulations and more it's a brilliant combination then on top of that you're gonna get I mean how cute is this a cupcake card are you kidding me this is just the cutest thing and once again it's so simple to achieve if you miss wake up call earlier on do not fear we've got demos galore to show you how easy it is to put these cards together um, this is phenomenal again because you've got things like uh, the little hearts on there the cherries which you can add to decorate the card further and then again an 11 piece stamp set which you can use to finish off your card uh, things like you're the sweetest you've even got in this little stamp set your little hundreds and thousand decorations there is that what you call them in the us as well hundreds and thousands the little sprinkles that you put on top of your cupcake yeah you got the sprinkle we call them hundreds and thousands well i do um sprinkles will go with uh, you've even got those in there as well along with a whole host of other stamps then on top of that the dress I cannot wait to see this being demoed actually a little bit later on the dress is phenomenal and think about how usable this is going to be whether you're going to be using this for wedding cards whether you're going to be using this for invitations to parties uh, for prom cards whatever it might be it's stunning and again with this I love the fact that you can dress it up with the little bows in there you've got the shoes in there too and once again a 12 piece stamp set which is going to allow you to completely personalize that you've got thank you in there be fabulous uh, and celebrate just a few of the stamps in that collection and then the teapot there's always time for tea isn't there uh, and that's what this collection brings to you as well a wonderful die set to be able to make this really cute teapot card again that comes with dies to give you a little teacup you've got your little spoon in there as well and a whole host of other dies and then on top of that 17 stamps to go with it as well tea is a hug in a cup uh, you've also got uh, T for two and even more along that collection as well. It's 115 elements in total. It's 74.97 or 98.97. And the great news is if you are a Platinum member, that comes down even further for you as well. 59.97 is all you'll pay today if you're shopping with us here in the UK. 79.17 uh, if you're shopping with us in the States. It's a brilliant bundle. And again, if you're looking at that and thinking, well, this looks great, but I bet it's really complicated to put these cards together. Think again, because our Debbie will show you just how easy it is to create these one-of-a-kind cards because they really are that aren't they they're brilliant they are absolutely brilliant they're fun quirky and quick and I absolutely love the design that we've got on these and I am going to start with the bottle one it's hard to have a favorite but again this one and I think I'm gonna to have to say the dress I just absolutely love them but saying that Ben I mean for the whole kit caboodle you're gonna be able to get the entire range which I just think is fabulous so I've got my set of stamp stamps already these are all your embellishment stamps that you're gonna be able to use uh, to create and personalize um, I love this it's no coincidence that beers Rhymes with cheers. I know. <laughs> I love it. What it's all about. There's some really fun little quirky sentiments on, on there. And that's the em embellishments. These are the worker dies themselves, though. And the worker die being the first one, which is the actual part that's going to create your bottle. Now, I've taken a piece of stamping card and I have scored it down the centre. Um, I'll give you the measurement for this one in case you're wondering. It is six by three inches. Uh, but when you think about it, it's actually 12. It's just been scored in half. And what I want to do is create my base. Now, as you can see straight away, I've got a little bit of an overhang. That's what connects your card in. You don't have to work it out. You just simply pop that on there. And again, I'm just going to use some low tack tape to hold that down. Hold it into place and then we're going to run it through and it is a thin metal die so we'll use our thin metal die combination. Um, these will also go through your midi because I've got the midi on the show as well today. Oh yeah um, we have the midi excited. on a good deal. Yeah, I've got the midi look that's why it's that's why it's pride of place at the top of there. So we're going to be mixing and matching we're going to be using a bit of board so that you can uh, see just how easy these are to use with any of the machines that we have. Uh, so let's take that out then so again lifting this off and I'll take this off as gently as I can. I always say I'm a little bit like a bull in a china shop. That's what I said earlier. I know, and I get little bits stuck everywhere. But look how easy it was to create the base. Oh, so it's it done. stays connected Brilliant. into that uh, cardstock. What I want to do though now is I'm going to have a bottle of beer for this one. Oh, yeah? we a bottle of beer to start with. Oh, sorry, so, you're going to make it. I thought you were going to. thought you were going to have a bottle of beer whilst you were making the card. That's what I thought you said. We're going to no. have a bottle of beer. Make the card. Uh, we'll have a bottle of beer. No, we're going to no. we're going to make a bottle of beer. So I've chosen some uh, brown cardstock that we've got in our our range um, I think this one is from one of the um, pads that we've had recently I'm trying to name the remember the name of it but it's one of our it's one of our card stocks but again this is just to show you what you can use actually shall we use the midi let's bring oh, do it in for a second yeah midi's on let's the show bring the midi in 
midi absolutely fabulous machine it's the same size as the gemini junior plate wise so we've got a nine by six um plate combination but it's super easy to use because the two plates that you get with this are those two your cutting plate and your embossing plate and it's that simple to do so simply all i'm going to do is place my die and my cardstock into the center of my plate and i'm just going to pop that and i say plate it's a folder yeah it's exactly what it is and then we're going to run this through i'm going to turn the handle and it's just going to do all the hard work do you know what the midi is so simple that even i can use it it's the machine that we've got at home you've got the MIDI. one haven't you yeah, yeah. i remember yeah. ron your coca cabana song wait a yeah. minute Crafters Companions. Yeah, it was in the background. Yes, it was. It was yeah. in the background. I remember seeing that then. I remember seeing it. I think I might have knocked me. There we go. In fact, I'm going to sit up there. Sit there nice and stay. neatly. Stay. Yes, stay, Ben. Stay. But when you take it out, look, it's cut that out absolutely beautifully. Just going to give this a little distressed edge for the time being. Now, on here, I'll just show you what you've got. You know, we talked about the different bottles that you can make it. I'm making it as a bottle of beer, but you've got a champagne bottle on here. You've got a wine bottle on here. You've got extra embellishments. You've got a tag die. You've got a little cork die on the top. Lots of extra little pieces on here to decorate your bottle with as well. Absolutely fab. But I'm just going to give this a little distress with an ink pad. Let's just bring in what we're doing with my inks. To be honest, that bottle shape could be whatever bottle you want. I mean, it could Anything. be a bottle of milk, bottle of pop. Yep. doesn't have to be... Alcoholic, it, you know, it could be Absol whatever you want Absolutely. it to be. Absolutely, it'd be any, mm. any bottle you want it to be. Let's see if I can find, um, yeah, there we go, we'll have that one. And I'm just going to distress simply around the edge just to give it a little bit of, um, uh, what's the word? <laughs> bit of a border? Uh, bit of a, a what? A border? Oh, yeah, no, you can call uh, it a bit of a border, yeah. I was trying to guess the word that you were going to say. I know, I'm trying to think of the word that oh, I was okay. trying to say. Just give it a little bit of, it gives it a little bit of a pop. A pop? A pop. Pop That's the pop. The <laughs> bottle of pop. Bottle of pop, yeah. <laughs> just give it a little pop. Um, and just by adding that, and I'm literally just taking it around the outside edge. Um, but again, you can be using your stamps that you've got in your collection for this. Uh, but we're just going to keep it really nice and simple to start with, Ben. That's what we're going to do. Keep yeah. it nice and simple. We've got uh, all your sort of daubers and uh, we've got uh, more ink pads on the show for you as well. If you want to add those, the best thing to do is have a look on the web. We'll try and get around to everything as we head over the course of the next two hours. Thank you as well, by the way, for all the photos which producer Erin has uh, told me has been coming in. She said she's never seen a show where so many photos have come in so early uh, on a show, which goes to show how much you love this collection and how many of you have already got it. So as always, if you want to tell us how much you love it and send in those pictures of what you've been making with the Creator Card Collection, uh, details at the bottom of the screen as to how you can send in your pics uh, and say hello. Absolutely, and I'm loving that already. Now, what I'm going to do, Ben, is I'm going to place this onto the top because this is going to be my card base, but this is going to be the decoration. So you can see it's slightly bigger, so it fits over, but it gives me the full bottle design. So I'm just going to run my tape pen over the top of there. Let me just <laughs> open that up for a second. I'm going to match it from the bottom upwards. So we're taking it to the bottom. I'm going to bring that all the way up, and you'll see that that fits perfectly over there. And it just gives me that little overhang so that you know uh, that you you've got the full design of the bottle there. So what I'm going to do now is add the extra bit of decoration because like I said, you've got all these extra little elements. So I want to give it a little bottle top and I've just cut this out into some gold cardstock that we, again, we've got on the show. And that simply was by taking this die here, running it through to create that little bottle top, which is so, I mean, how easy is that then? I love the it. detail so cool. is absolutely phenomenal on these. They really are absolutely spot on. Let's just have that hanging over the top like you would on a... Do you remember the days of the bottle tops? Do they still do bottles with the proper old metal bottle tops? Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Like, the, what, what you, the, you pull off with a you bottle pull off opener? With, yeah, not your teeth. With a bottle opener. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They I, have them. Do they still do them? Yeah, Definitely. You see, I didn't know well, beer, that. beer bottles. Beer bottles, yes. yeah. Yeah, I mean, not that I know, because, you know, I don't look at beer bottles that often, but I'm sure they... <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about milk bottles for a second then. No, whether or not they used to, no, they used no, to have no, the, no. Um, like the silver tops, didn't they? And the gold tops. The, sil milk well, the, mil the milk bottles, but yeah, were they silver? They were um, silver like foil though, weren't they? Yes. Yeah, they were silver foil. Not like the proper hard nut. Um, <gasps> Hard nut, hard nut, the hard, hard, um, the hard metal. <laughs> oh, oh dear. I just oh remember dear. the pop bottles that you used to get back in the day. And for whatever reason, whenever we used to go on holiday, we used to get like the glass bottles of, you know, you pop your cola and stuff, like Debbie was talking about, with the, with the 
proper bottle tops on which you'd have, which you'd have to you know, get off with the bottle opener. And then to have a straw in the glass bottle, I used to think as a kid that was just like the best thing ever. I don't, I don't know why, I was easily, I mean I'm easily pleased now to be honest with you, but as a kid, give me a bottle of pop with a straw in, I mean I was happy as Larry, honestly. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Now this has just created a lovely little frame here that's going to go in the middle of my bottle and I'm going to bring in those stamps just for a second. So uh, let me just get you as my distress tool though. I'm going to just distress around the edge of it again and then we're going to add the sentiment on and I'm going to, I'm going to go all the way around with this one. Um, lots of people already in, got to say a few, uh, loads of messages coming in, cool, blimey. Uh, Migdalia is in from uh, London, Canada, Beth's in from Minnesota, Valerie's in uh, from Arizona. Uh, Linny says, hi Ben, Debbie and the team, I'm looking forward to this one. I've had these dice for a long time and they've been lost in my stash. This show will make me use them again. Absolutely. P.S. I'm watching whilst working so I may be a bit quiet. Shh. Lily's working, everybody. Don't, don't tell don't anybody. Mention, don't, don't say it. Tell, yeah, don't yeah. say anything to anybody. Keep it quiet. Okay. Keep it quiet. It's our secret. Now, I've chosen one of my favourite sentiments on here. I absolutely love this. <laughs> Just think it's such a fun one. I'd love to know who came up with this what, one. What is it? Oh, beers rhymes with cheers. <laughs> yeah. I just think it's absolutely ace. No coincidence that beers rhymes with cheers because... It, it's true, isn't it? It's absolutely true. Absolutely. And I absolutely love it. And then all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop a little foam pad onto the back of there. And we've got ourselves our first uh, bottle. And we're going with the beer with this one. Our bottle all completed because you don't need to add anything else to it. And don't forget you've got the option to if you want to do. But I'm keeping it really, really simple. To start with, we've gone in with a simple bottle of beer. Bottle of beer, Ben. Bottle of beer. Bottle of beer. And how easy it was to put that together to create that lovely feature. And it's one of those, I always call it, it is a mantle piece pleaser. Absolutely, Absolutely it is. Absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Just love them. Um, you guys, I've never seen, like, as much as producer Erin has said, I've never seen so many pictures coming in so early in the show. I've never seen so many comments coming in so early in the show. The, uh, you are loving this. Uh, Charlotte is saying, hello from Georgia. The creator card dies are awesome. Um, Valerie saying, I have the dress one. I love it. Michelle knits for you saying, I want the bottle dye. Hi, Michelle. Michelle says, by the way, Ben says, uh, ciao, ciao, says hi. Hi, ciao, ciao. Hi, Michelle. Lovely to have you all with us. Uh, I have the dress and the bottle, says Gwenda G. I haven't used the dress one yet. Uh, but I have used the bottle. Marilyn saying, I have the dress. I haven't used it yet. Um, and Aisha just saying, good morning again, Ben and Debbie and the CC crew. So great to be back for round number two. Um, and Lorraine, after that beer bottle demonstration, Lorraine Bennett is currently singing, 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 98 bottles of beer on the wall, 98 bottles of beer. Take one down and say so carry on or no, I'm being told to move on. Move on. Everyone's like, move on, what are you doing? Um, the shape cards, the <laughs> it will take forever. The shape cards, let me just quickly show you before we move on to show you some great cards. Talk. So what you're going to be able to achieve if you go for the full bundle, you will get um, the dies and the stamps to be able to create um, this really, really cool teapot. Time for tea. I mean, how great are these? They're just so different. And as Debbie has um, just said, mantelpiece pleasers, but so easy to put together. That's the point. The dress is just simply stunning. Look at this one. And think about all of the, uh, the papers that you've got within your collections at home that you can use to decorate particularly this a dress for all seasons really then you've got your cake um, which we absolutely love the sweet treats again super super simple to do decorate that in the uh, color that you want yeah i mean why not purple cupcake it can be whatever color you want it to be um, which is stunning and then your bottle, your beer bottles, your champagne bottles, your Prosecco bottles, your milk bottles, your pop bottles, whatever you want them to be, the choice is yours. But the whole point is, this is easy to do, quick to do, simple to do, but look at what you can create. 74.97 or 98.97 uh, becomes 59.97 or 79.17 if you are a Platinum member. Now, if you're wanting to create beautiful cards, you'll need some beautiful card stock. Oh, and boy, oh boy, we have that in spades for you this collection i absolutely love now what i'm about to show you here is phenomenal because you're going to get look at that price you're going to get everything for the price you're seeing on screen right now so 
30 sheets in the gold and we break this down, br 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 break it down to 10 sheets of the glitter cardstock, our encapsulated glitter cardstock, I think is the best uh, because that glitter is not going to go everywhere. You've then got on top of that your uh, mirror card, 10 sheets of that and then also 10 sheets of your matte mirror card. So that is 30 sheets of the gold right there. But that is not all because then also on top of that you're going to get your gorgeous green. Oh boy, oh boy. Again, 10 sheets of that. Look at the sparkle on the glitter card. I love this so much. Um, it is an absolute want, right? It is an absolute must. It was a little bit aggressive, that, wasn't it? I love this so much. Uh, you've then got the, uh, the mirror card and your matte mirror card as well. 10 sheets of each of that. That gives you 30, which gives you 60 sheets in total. And then on top of that, you've got your ice blue which I love. Um, and again with this, look at the glitter, look at the sparkle, and look at the value for money that you're getting because that's 10 sheets of your glitter, 10 sheets of your mirror, 10 sheets of your matte mirror cardstock. That is 90 sheets in total. All I've just shown you there for an unbelievable deal. Are you kidding me? That is under 20 pounds, $31.90. Uh, and of course, if you're a Platinum member, you can take your 20% off that as well. Wow, you need to be in to get that deal. I love it. I'm also loving on the show today, The Return of the Midi. Sounds like a song that, doesn't it? The Return of the Midi. Uh, the, <laughs> the Return of the Midi. Uh, the mi the MIDI is the machine that I use. <laughs> it's my machine of choice. Don't let that put you off, though. Um, I just think this is a brilliant machine, right? Because um, you've got the capacity with this to do so many different projects. Um, you've got that uh, six by um, uh, nine inch size with this. So again, um, as far as size is concerned, this is absolutely brilliant. If you don't want to get into the realms of um, electronic die cutting yet, this is great because, um, shall, I get, shall I get this out? Oh, it's all, it's all packaged. Oh, I'll, I'll let Debbie show you the other side of the studio. But because the point is with this, it's a manual die cutting machine, but you've got all the power of the electronic one. Um, you've got such simple plate combinations in here as well. And for those of you that know me, that have been watching me since I've been here, you'll know that I'm a little bit simple. Um, so I don't, want, I don't want it complicated. You've got um, ease of use with this because you don't need to remember all the complications. And as Debbie's showing you right there, I mean, if you want stability, the suckers on this give you that, don't they? They are super strong. Wait a minute, say this slowly. Super strong suckers is what these are. What are they? Super, super strong, strong suckers. suckers, they are. And can, do you know what, Ben? Yeah. I'll, I, it's the attention to detail when it comes to this machine. First things first, it's a powerful machine but in a manual form yeah and it has the name gemini in front of it and it does do a lot of things but it's a simple combination it is a manual machine with your turning handle but what this is is that super and when i talk about those super strong suckers proof is in the pudding oh I've wow lifted up the glass mat and that shows you just how strong they are because i've had machines in the past where i've had to wedge them down like this Oh no. And hold them down yeah. while I'm while I'm wrestling them. You don't want to wrestle it. Nah. So now you know you've got a great, great sucker on the bottom to hold that down. But what I've got is an absolute powerhouse of a machine. And the simple combinations are you have got this plastic folder yep. that is where you do all the die cutting and all four sides of these are to be used. So I do a lot of where um I pop it in the middle and then I take it out and fold it round and I do all four sides where I cut onto this, okay? Now that is the plate for all your dies. The other plate that you have is for your embossing folders. Now we've got a set of embossing folders. I'm just trying to bring it in. Just let me grab an embossing folder where we've got these gorgeous embossing folders on the show today. So these are what we call a standard embossing folder. And for a standard embossing folder, it simply is paper inside your embossing folder yeah. and put your plate and yeah. roll it through. That's it. That is it. That's your combination for an embossing folder. And a 3D embossing folder... Just on its own? On its own. Yeah. You feed it through the, you feed it through the mouth of the machine. That is it. I mean, when it talk, I mean, <laughs> we all talk about the machines that we have. And I'm, I am not afraid to stick my hand up and say, I have all <gasps> but the beast. All but the, be oh, all all but the beast, but the, the beast. pro. I've got the original, the junior, the Go, the Mini, the Midi, 
The Beast is the next on the list. The Beast is next on the list, let me tell you. Uh, but this is a fantastic machine and it's very, not very often that we have it back in stock. So while it is in stock, grab it at that great price today. It is a powerful, powerful machine and I promise you, you'll absolutely love it. And it's gonna be one of those machines that you do use a heck of a lot more than you actually think you do. Yeah. So yeah, uh, definitely worth, uh, definitely worth mentioning. And I'm gonna be using it all the way through the show today. So yes, absolutely. It's got all the power that you would want and it is simplicity without electricity oh no but that's the point though isn't it i'm gonna i'm gonna put that one to sarah it is though because the point is sometimes you don't want to have to be like trailing leads and you know if you do have a power cut or whatever you're in the middle of crafting this is super because you've got all the power but with just that manual crank on it and actually how nice is it to be able to go outside and craft how nice is it to be able to go yep. and visit your friends you know do some crafting in the garden you're not very well going to get an extension lead and lug it down the bottom of the garden to plug in your junior or your gemini are you this is perfect right hang on a second we've got a question at the back of the cluster <laughs> Someone's got their hand up over there. Uh, oh, well, Robinson! I was going to do this and I was going to do this, but I thought, no, I'll just stick my hand up. Uh, what about all your midnight crafters? Where oh, you yeah. Work your other half? Who was it yesterday who was saying super, to us that she's quiet. got her craft rooms in the bedroom and she yep. has to craft uh, I bet she can night. craft with this. Yeah, I bet she can. While other half sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So basically, you've got your machine, you've got your plates that you need included in there as well, uh, and it's $69.99 or $89.95. Of course, if you're platinum, another 20% comes off that price for you. It's a great machine, honestly. And as I said, if it's simplicity you want, you've got it with this. If you want more plates, however, then uh, we've got those available for you as well. Uh, it's your plastic folder two pack. I've got um, the two for you here. The ones that I've got have been well loved and well used, uh, but basically you've got those included for $8.99 or $11.95. You, you, you get them included already. You get one included already in the actual box with your MIDI, but you will need these over time. You're not gonna need these within the first few weeks, but they're good to have spares uh, for when you do need to use them. Uh, $8.99 or $11.95 if you wanna go for the twin pack on the plastic folders. And then the plastic shims, again, over time, you will need to get um, spare plastic shims, uh, and you can go for those as well. $4.99 or $6.95 if you wanna go for the spare plastic shim, which is the one that you use with your embossing folders. Uh, but again, you won't need um, this kind of quickly, let's just say, but it's good to have the spares uh, for when you do need them. $4.99 if you want to go for the plastic shim, uh, but that is your MIDI, which is back in stock, and we are very, very excited about that. Now, uh, lots of love as well for our um, collection of uh, Shape Creator card dies. There's so many comments coming in, which I'll have to like fish through in a few moments' time, um, but if you want to go for the individuals, you can do. Okay, so some people um, might already have some of these um, dies and just want to kind of create their own bundles, so this is the way to do it. $24.99 or $32.99 if you want to go for the Bottles Up collection. And the way that this works out is you buy the die, you get the stamp for free. And the Bottles Up, by the way, has been flying out of the door. I think it's the versatility with this. And you think about how many projects you can use your bottles on. That's why that's going individually. Over 15% off, buy the die, get the stamps for free. That also goes for your sweet treats as well. So again, you buy the die back in stock and then you get uh, the stamp collection, 11 stamps for free, $24.99 or $32.99. By the way, that works out at $19.99 or $26.39 um, if you are shopping with us in the US and you are a platinum member. Then on top of that, be fabulous. Uh, the dress also proving very, very popular. I cannot wait for Debbie's demo on that a little bit later on, uh, but that is uh, $24.99 or $32.99 with the stamps for free. And then time for tea, uh, that is also a available as an individual bundle. $24.99 for the dies which are back in stock and then you get those stamps for free. However, the majority of you going for the full bundle because that's where the main value for money is. You get the whole shebang, everything right there for $74.97 or $98.97, that is $59.97 or $79.17 if you are a platinum member. There is so many messages coming in. Uh, Shadai is saying, I've got this collection. The dress is my ultimate favorite. Uh, I used to say, I love all the tea references. I know it's an English thing, but I'm a coffee girl. Please bring us more coffee dyes. I'm a coffee, I'm a coffee man. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got another hand up over the other side of the studio. Robinson. Yay, I'm a coffee girl too. <laughs> That's me, I'm a coffee girl. Oh, there's Blue a coffee dance. 
Coffee dance. Coffee dance. Uh, the cupcake and tea part will look good with the upcoming garden party collection, says Mary. Yes. Uh, Sue saying, I've got the bottle die, but not used yet. Now I want to make some cards. The dress is glorious, says Gilmore. Love the gold cardstock, says Yolanda. Uh, and I love that luxury card you just showed us, says Shadaya. One of my favourite cardstocks. Listen, as much as the comments are flying in left, right and centre, you are flying in with all of your pictures as well. So let us have a little look at what you have been sending us. Peggy's been busy making a, a beautiful box of the cupcake. Look at this. <laughs> gorgeous. I'm, Absolutely I, gorgeous. I have to come round because I can't see the screen. I appreciate it's it in all its glory. That is right, Peggy. glorious. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. Yep. Um, and then, oh, the dress is gorgeous, Peggy. Ooh, I love the little sash that you that. put around there. Look and at then, that sash. Then all the little bits and pieces. So the shoes and like the little purse are included as well. Yes, they are. Yeah, they're all in there. Absolutely. That is beautiful, Peggy. You've done a gorgeous job with those two. <gasps> oh, and Linny. Look, look what Linny's done with the teapot. Yes, Linny. Oh, my days. I love that. Is that a bit of like Hessian oh, on there? Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous. Is that some Hessian and things like that in the background there? Yeah. Beautiful. What a gorgeous fit. Vintage teapot that is absolutely beautiful, uh, Linny. Gorgeous. There's a bit of mixed media going on there, and Linny's also absolutely. made. So, to show you how different these can look, look at that teapot, completely different. Gorgeous. Just by changing the papers up, uh, absolutely giving it a, gorgeous. A, a really different feel. And then the cupcake, Clarice has been busy. Oh, that is the biggest cupcake I think I've ever seen. Well, that's the thing that you can do with it though, Ben, because you can stack it. So you can make it as a small cupcake, but you can go super large by bringing what Clar Clarice has done there. And that is absolutely phenomenal. Gorgeous one again. And I love how she's put a name at the bottom. Yeah. That is beautiful. Made that for her granddaughter, which Aww. is brilliant. And then Gwenda's Gorgeous been name. on the champagne. Gwenda's been on the champs. Oh, there you go. oh, look at that. Now that's with this cascading circle from the edge bowls, the, modern, the modern edge bowls. But the bubbles. How gorgeous does that look? Bubbles for the champagne. Bubbles for the champagne. That is fabulous. Gwenda, I love your idea. Beautiful. Oh, please carry on sharing. Please carry on sharing. Yes. These are fabulous. And talking of fabulous, I had to move on to my dress. I'm going to try and get two or three of these in because, in fact, I've got loads planned. And I did say to producer Erin earlier, I went, I can just carry on and carry on. If you give me the time, let, let, let me carry on and I will just make loads. Uh, but these are super easy to use. Now I'm going to use this beautiful dress. And again, what you've got here is your worker die. This is your die set. Yep. You've got your beautiful dress design. You've got your handbag, your shoe, your collar. I think that's what we were going with, not what I said earlier. Uh, you've got your florals, you've got your little bow here, and then you've got all your extra bits, and then including a set of stamps that actually match and make it worth your while to actually have the whole set, because you don't have to go looking for stamps that match, because these are all the ones that you are going to use. So again, really fabulous. Now, first things first, I've got some more white stamping card. I'm going to make my base first, and I'm going to show you how to make that base, in case you wasn't watching this morning. Um, but it's very simple again and I've cut it a little bit bigger because I'm going to try and get another piece out from the other side don't know how frugal I'll be there maybe maybe not maybe, we'll, we'll try it we'll try it but what you're going to do is you're going to lift it up off there now if you wanted to go and have it as a half base that's exactly what you can do uh, but I'm just making sure I've got that little overhang at the top again and I'm just going to hold that down with a little bit of low tack tape uh, this is cutting through two pieces as well of our 300 GSM. So what does that make that, Ben? 600. 600. Look at me with the maths. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So again, I'm going to put it in my folder. Let's yep. get that that way. See if I can fit it in there. Perfect. Yeah, so it will go It will go through some materials, won't it? it 600 will, yeah. GSM. That's yeah, quite a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So we're going to put it through. And again, I'm going to put my midi down, grab it the right way around though this time. I've been having my handle the wrong way around and it made it really difficult for me to get that in. Let me just make sure I've got that going right. Then we've got to take that, turn it and bring that through. And all you're going to do is carry on holding it down until you get that through there. Uh, and again, really, really easy to use. It's a simple combination where you've got your plates and it goes through the mini and that is it. And you don't need it to be anything else, but look, Phenomenal. I mean, that's why it's got the name Gemini in front of it. It absolutely is a phenomenal machine that will cut through lots of... I mean, that's two pieces. Brilliant. Straight away. And that's my card base made. Now, I've got some material here. So I've got some material from the Threaders range. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to run this through because what I want to do is... Oh, actually, actually, before I do that, I'm going to cut myself another base 
because what I want to do is create a base for my material to sit on. So let's pop that back down. Let's run that through. This time I'm only cutting through one piece, but this time we're just going to go straight round. And again, it's that simple case of just rolling your roller, uh, rolling your handle round, letting it go through the rollers, and let that do the hard work for you. And then this way, now has cut out my lovely dress. There we go. So pop that there for a second. Now. That bit fits onto the top of that bit to create that beautiful dress design. However, I want to cut my material through. So what I'm just going to do now is I've taken a piece of threaders, I've been raiding Bernie's box. What is that? What is that? A bit of... It's threaders. It's one of those, um, do you know the sticky back ones? Oh, uh, okay. So it's got like a, let me just pull that apart. It's like an adhesive. Oh, adhesive material. Yeah, yeah. It's one of, it's tell you, it's one of, it's one of... <laughs> Does she know you've nicked that? Uh, no. Oh, we'll keep it no. quiet then. We'll keep it quiet. Right, Hope through, she's not I'm watching. <laughs> You'll She'll be in trouble. Mind. She'll not mind. Uh, so let's put that through. No now, limericks for you. Now, because it is material, it may... Oh, what was that? No limericks for you. <laughs> Bless her. She's she good with the limericks. I know. She's, she's awesome. She's absolutely fabulous. She just roll off her tongue. No, last few weeks when I've been with her on uh, uh, Softer Side of Life, you know, we've chatted about something and I'm like, oh, can you write a limerick about that for the next show? And she's done it. She goes home, she has a Sunday lunch and she writes a limerick while she's having a lunch and then she we, crazy, we read it on the show. It? Brilliant. Absolutely crazy. Now, because this is material, I'm just going to have to just loosen it slightly because it just needs that extra little bit of crunch, especially around the bottom. Actually, I might go back through it again, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, because I have got material, but I've not just got material, I've got adhesive on there as well. So I'm just going to release that bottom part. Uh, but there you can see that beautiful piece cut through and now I've got a lovely adhesive back ready to go on there however i could keep it flat you know ben but do you know what we're thinking i'm thinking i might like to um just raise it slightly so i might i might have it on the inside and then have a little bit yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do right bear with me i told i told you i'm gonna change these up i know did i not tell you i'm gonna change these up that's it <laughs> I said, oh, I like, I like to, I, I have an idea and then I, I want to run with it and go with something else. So I'm going to use my base of my dress. Let me just bring out my adhesive. Let's just take that off. Come on. Come on, pokey tool. Why aren't you lifting? Let's see if I, I can't even get my fingernails down in it, Ben. So I'm going to have to just be patient and peel back the adhesive. Let's see if I can get that off. Whilst, you, well, whilst you're peeling, Thank there's you loads much, of lovely messages coming in. Uh, Maria just saying, I have the dress one. Um, I made a card for my seven-year-old niece that uh, loved it so much, she couldn't stop showing it to people that was at her party, which is lovely. Um, love, love, love my midi, says Mary Ehada. And uh, going back to the, um, the bottle earlier on, Patty says, so do you say pop or soda? I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, and there it is pop. Here in Wisconsin, it's called soda. Is it? We don't say soda over here. No, soda. Soda is something completely different. Oh, Erin, um, who is from the US, uh, my producer today, just saying it's, um, it's a bit of a, uh, a topic for argument over there. Uh, well, conversation. <laughs> argument, I said. It's a topic of conversation. Is it pop? Is it soda? It's, fizz it's fizzy pop here, isn't it? Is it fizzy pop? You, we, we, soda. You don't, you don't it's say called the soda stream. Is that American then? I'm trying to think because the soda stream was big in the. I've got a soda 80s, stream. 90s. I just bought a soda stream. Yeah, I remember about the soda stream, but we do call it fizzy, don't we? Because it's fizzy, 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 yeah, fizzy, fizzy pop, fizzy, not fizzy soda. Pop. Yeah, fizzy yeah. pop. Yeah. Uh, right. So I've actually put my um, material onto my dress base now and just secured that down. But I'm going to give it a little bit of a shape, Ben. So I'm taking me. Um, Bone folder. Thank you very much. Why am I waving it like this, thinking that I, I know, know it's going to come to me in a minute? I thought you were testing me again, like earlier on. Two lots actually, of 300 was, GSM. Ben, What's a that? Actually, Ben, I was testing you. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I'd, I'd not forgotten what it was called at all. I know, I know. I'm all, I'm all over it. So like, I know you like to keep us presenters in check. Make sure we know what we're talking about. You yeah, know? make sure you're listening. Exactly right. <laughs> exactly. Keep your on your toes. That's it, that's it. <laughs> now, what I've just done by using my bone folder is that i've given it and created a little bit of a curve so i'm now going to just attach it i'm hoping my heat gun's on let me see if my glue gun yeah so i'm just going to pop a little blob of glue down in this corner and a little blob of glue down in this corner just hold that there for a second i'm going to attach that onto the bottom that's it attach that onto the bottom because I want to have a little bit of a curvature going off. I want to get a little bit of a fullness to the dress. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to hold that in place just for a second, Ben. Just give me uh, a, oh, a moment or two. Let's see if I can get that going. There we go. 
perfect that's fine yep so i'm going to keep that going and let me just make there we are right what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to have a foam pad and i'm going to lift the body part of the dress so i'm going to attach that to the base and i'm going to now lift it round here as well so i've now got oh now a nice, nice big full dress going oh, that you is, see that dimension it? going off there yeah. so she's got a lovely uh, bowing dress going so what that done now is giving me this lovely curvature feel which i just think is absolutely fabulous and then we're going to do some of the die cutting with the little pieces as well so we've got some shoes on there now i've already cut one of these cu uh, cuffs out and i've cut round the middle part as well but i'm going to cut the bow out too so let me just just grab my midi 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 yep that's the one midi yep. not mini midi because <laughs> see it's going to be one of them days oh. uh, and then i'm going to pop on one of my shoes oh yeah uh where's my bow gone where's my bow gone oh you've not took it off debbie you've not took it off let's put my bow on there as well uh and then my middle part of the bow too so let me just pop that on oh no that's the middle part of the belly band oh it's <laughs> not a belly band is it it's not a belly I band i can't even remember what the actual name was for it oh, that we came what's up it with. called what's again it called? a waistband a w thank you waistband it does sound a, a bit nicer than a belly band doesn't it <laughs> mm. uh, oh. does it produce a ring belly band has to do with pregnant women are being a support for pregnant really? ladies apparently for their back oh i didn't and know that and i didn't either i'm only repeating what she's saying to me in my ear right now i'm not i am not a, an oracle on belly bands and waistbands <laughs> funnily enough um, <laughs> what, what was that image oh what was that it, it says they basically facilitate proper posture that's what you would use a belly band for well, I never... They say every day is a school day. It certainly is here. It is definitely the is The amount here. of use... I mean, I've learnt a lot of very useful information here, but the amount of useless information I've learnt here is, is probably on a par, I would tell you. Some of, the <laughs> some of the stuff we end up talking about here is just... Well, it's brilliant, isn't it? If I'm being honest it with is. you, it's brilliant. It is indeed. So I'm just going to pop those dies back onto me, um, back onto me uh, place there. Now, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add these little extra bits on. So bringing my card back in, I'm going to pop on my, um, le let's put a collar on first. So I'm going to use my hot glue gun for this though, Ben, because I am putting it onto material. So this is a, uh, another way of doing it and it'll adhere down. Let's pop that on. Um. Love my midi, says uh, Victoria. Um, Lorraine saying the beast is on my birthday week list. Uh, Santa can bring it to me for Christmas. Uh, Aisha just saying adding another pack of folders to my basket because when you need them, they will probably be sold out. And there's loads of love coming in for these um, collections as well. Uh, Patty on uh, Facebook is saying, I collect teapots and teacups, but I'm a total coffee addict girl. We definitely need coffee related stamps and dyes. Well, we shall put that to the boss. What would you have though if you had like a coffee related collection, like a like a percolator, you have a little, oh, I don't a little. Know. Um, what would we have for a what's coffee? The what's the thing lovers? called? The, for, what's that thing called? A whaty? The thing, the, the what do you call it? They're in the French press. That you put your your coffee grains in and then you pull, push the thing down. No, we don't call it that. Oh, what's that? That's some, uh, that, that, that must called? be an American thing. What's it called? The thing. Cafetiere. Cafetiere. That's it. Yes, yes, a cafetiere. Oh, I should have remembered that because when I, whenever I go and visit my daughter in Bristol, her uh, partner, he, <laughs> is, um, he loves his as well. He, um, so, and he has a cafetiere. cafetiere Erin, our uh, American producer, Erin's just taking the mickey out of us going, oh, of course you guys call it a cafetiere. What do you call napkins? Serviettes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a cafetiere? A what? A what? A French press. A French press. Wow. Really? Yeah. You see, yeah, well, we, we have to sound really posh, don't we? So it is like, it's a, it's a fr your French press, and we call it cafetiere. <laughs> Do you mind fetching me a serviette, please? And my cafetiere. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound as good, does it? Can you get the French oh, press dear. and the napkin? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I love it. I love her in, bless her. <laughs> they have such a different way with words, don't they? A different meaning uh, with words as well. And sometimes I forget that. And oh, I, I know. You forgot it this morning as well. Yes, I did. I do apologise about that, <laughs> no, actually. No, don't apologise. Uh, but it's yes, funny. I did. I did completely forget that something has a different meaning in America. So <laughs> when I did say it, I realised afterwards when she said it in the ear, I'm like, oh, no. No, it's I've fine. I've done it again. I've it's done it fine. again. Just going to find a little gem, Ben. Just yeah, give me a second you while I'll go find a little, a little gem. gem. 
Uh, lots of love coming in. Uh, Jean just saying, I'm enjoying a beaker of PG tips. So I've got to have that teapot. What tea do you drink over in America as well? Do you have PG, is that a thing over there, PG tips? And Tetley, Tetley tea? Oh, it's not a big thing in America, I'm being told. Oh, Lipton tea you have. Let me know what, you, what, what bever hot beverages do you drink in the US? I'm interested now we're talking about this. Um, uh, Carleen just saying, uh, great, using fabric for the dress. Oh, and so, uh, Susan's just saying, uh, where do we send pictures to, please? You send pictures to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. That's where you send the pictures to. Uh, pictures uh, of any of your makes from this collection. And by the way, thank you for all the pictures coming in for our Random Crafts of Kindness, which will be back on Wake Up Call next Wednesday. Uh, if you didn't get your speech today, fear not. It could be coming up uh, next week when we bring it back to you. This dress, by the way, is looking phenomenal. Oh, thank I'm you very loving much this. It's got a spring. real sort of springtime, summery feel to it. This uh, hasn't it just? And when you look at it, because I wanted to do that side bit where I've got my little bow going off to give it a real full fullness feel. I've just added uh, my shoes on there. I popped a couple of little gems. I've popped my little ribbon on in the middle. Popped my little uh, neck. Uh, mm, uh, collar mm -hmm. onto the top but just by using fabric you can do things like that so a very nice simple card and I've not even touched on the stamp yet then <laughs> the, the stamps are absolutely fabulous you can create yourself a lovely stamp feature as well let me show you a couple of more examples of what I mean by that so the one that I did this morning this is the one that I did this morning so you can see just how beautiful that looks with some of the paper on there but when you bring in the stamps Ooh. look at this one I did this one quite recently uh, with the stamps and this is just heat embossed set so I've used the floral part of the stamp can you see this floral part I use that and heat set it with gold embossing powder to create a floral dress so I used all the florals on there to create that and then used again one of the sentiments and again all those little accessories and then just brought in some extra things like gems and things like that to really make a difference to really make it pop but there you go Ben that is another dress uh, one there done but again showing you all the different ways that you can use them and again just but I could have kept it flat if I wanted but I wanted to give it a real lovely whoosh feel whoosh, whoosh feel like it, it all the way around you do you know what I definitely think of anything that has got that whoosh <laughs> uh, feel um, now listen if you're going for this collection you'll probably need um, some cardstock to go with it and paper too uh, so we have got that for you uh, as far as this show is concerned now we've got a multi buy on the cardstock for you the good news is hurrah huzzah and uh, jump for joy we have got the white stamping card Back in stock. Wee -hee. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, now we've got the um, the craft card stock first of all. Uh, 50 sheets of that. Bottom of your screen as well, you'll see there is a deal currently on our um, card stock. So any four for 30 or 42. Uh, but the craft card stock with this collection, you're going to get um, A4 size, obviously. 50 sheets, uh, 280 GSM is um, your weight on that. And again, so super handy. I think it, it's the three that you want really, isn't it? Your craft card stock, your black, and then your white stamping card as well. So if you want to go for that, 9.99 or 14.99. We've then got your, uh, your matte black, 40 sheets of that you're going to get if you jump in and grab this today. I would take advantage of the deal at the bottom of your screen, just down here. There it is. Any four for 30 or 42. So your matte black cardstock, again, uh, 40 sheets, A4, that's 300 GSM. And then your white stamping card is back. Uh, that is 60 sheets, 300 GSM. Uh, again, A4, 9.99 or 14.99. So you can get all three of those and then pop in one more of them uh, to get the deal for uh, 30 pounds or 42 dollars. The kind of thing that you don't want to run out of and that you need to keep in stock in your craft room. Now, particularly I think when you look at uh, that dress die, for example, you want to be able to dress it up. You want to be able to have uh, lots of uh, different papers in your collection. Sorry, I just had a bit of a moment there. I've just seen the, the price on screen. This is flying out of the door. And I thought, well, I know the reason why it's flying out the door because the, uh, the Rose Gold collection, the Rose Garden collection, I should say, uh, is uh, absolutely stunning. Uh, so that's why you love it. But look at the price. 
649 or 997 is the price on this um, so again let's just quickly show you everything you're going to receive in here uh, this is uh, your 12 by 12 pad look at all of these gorgeous images on here um, if you love your florals um, if you love your sort of more um, I suppose delicate sort of pastel images you've got it it's flowers it's beautiful butterflies it is stunning and again um, how nice is this going to look particularly if you are um, decorating up that dress dye I think these would be phenomenal Phenomenal. 60% uh, of the stock has gone here though, so you will have to be swift if you want to jump in and grab it. 50% off the price, 649 or 997. And again, you've got another 20% that comes off that if you're a platinum member. Now, uh, always popular is your every se everyday celebrations pad. Again, 48 sheets in here. 12.99 or 16.95 is the deal uh, once again i just think this is a really joyful uh, pad there are so many different designs in here so many different colors a really lovely palette particularly for this time of the year as well um, once again lots of florals a little bit more sort of um ditzy prints in here as well if you like you've got lots of um spots and dots um, and i love the fact as well in here that you get those um balloon shapes i think they're so cute there you go there's your spotty dotties loads of gorgeous colors you've got stripes in there too and then the um the balloon pages i just think is off the chart amazing 12.99 or 16.95 if you want to jump in and grab that one next up we have got your contemporary watercolor and the contemporary watercolor did i just say that four times contemporary contemporary watercolor is brilliant because this is one of the paper pads that you get with the extra sheets in the back with your little die cut toppers and this one is great so obviously all pre-cut for you they simply just pop out of the page um, and you've got little um, sort of sheets there to pop your uh, stamps on if you want to pop on your little sentiment if you want to do a little bit of decoupaging there as well you can it's really really cute uh, and the uh, papers again are stunning double-sided you're just going to have to choose which side you go for and it will be a difficult choice because there's some stunning designs or alternatively yes there you go tip of the day from producer Erin just buy two and then you won't have to worry too much what I would say though is if you are going for this pad particularly go swiftly because 50% of the stock has gone $17.99 or $22.95 is the deal on that one um, and also proving really popular is the uh, spring fever paper pad now i think a lot of you were asking for the um the smaller pa paper pads um particularly the eight by eight size i think it's quite handy for a lot of the cards that you make so we of course obliged and we brought you the spring fever collection love this hey and what a great time to get it as well you've got um your sort of patterns in there your dots your zigzags going on um you've got your sort of um beautiful colors in there too i love this a really lovely palette for your springtime um, and this is yours for 9.99 today or 12.95 plenty oh look at the hearts there gorgeous uh plenty to be getting your uh, teeth into uh, and plenty of kind of option with these uh, as well little daisies there gorgeous uh 9.99 or 12.95 is the price on that now uh, still to come here on uh, crafters tv a little bit later on we have got creative cravings we have got a brilliant show coming up with the peekaboo dies but also let me point you to the fact that we've got a brilliant hero tool on that show as well we gave you a little sneaky peek of it earlier on and um well if you if you didn't see what it was i will say no more for now but it is something that i think you are going to love particularly if you love totally tiffany goodies and then tomorrow uh, of course back myself and jan on wake up call that uh, is coming your way 12 o'clock uk time uh, eight o'clock east coast at five o'clock on the west coast and that is going to be brilliant uh, once again as well um, over the course of that show of course we will be um bringing you uh, lots of uh, 12 7 and 4 what did i say 12 8 and 5 12, seven and four. Just make it up, Ben. Why don't you? Just make it up. Um, yeah, over the course of that show, we're going to bring you lots of sneak peeks uh, as far as uh, what is going to be coming up over the course of the day. And actually, tomorrow, we've got a big cartload. When I say a big cartload, Sarah cartload, and we will give you the first sneak peek as to be what is going to be coming up in that show uh, tomorrow from seven o'clock here in the UK. So if you want to get ahead of everybody else, make sure you join myself and Jan tomorrow. Now, lots of you have been sending in your pictures. And uh, before we go back to the main bundle, I think we are going to be going to have a look at some of the pictures because it's lovely to see what you've been creating uh, with the uh, shape card created eyes. Silver Fox has been busy dressmaking. I mean, come on, this is brilliant. I love these dresses. Ooh, and do you know what? 
I love that red one. That just reminds me of what my room, well, did look like until last weekend, but my me, sister's me been in while I've been away, so it won't look like that when I get back. What are you, I, you want? Your room? My room, she's painted, she's doing my house for me before she oh. goes back to work. So she's uh, she started in the room, and that, that one on the left-hand side there is actually what my room paper looked like. I adore those two dresses. They're absolutely beautiful and again show you just how easy it is to create that gorgeous statement piece there that lovely that creator card there just so easily yeah oh, and again this one silver fox that's amazing but look at beth celebrating yeah. with some uh, some vintage wine there by yeah, the way vintage champers let's not forget ben these dies can be used in a whole heap of ways i've been showing you how to create a card with them as in the card blank itself that lovely shaped card but what you can do with them is like this you just put them on the on the front of a card that yeah. one is super beautiful beth i absolutely love that uh, and i love how you've brought used you know a different style of the topper on there to create a different bottle i absolutely love that one um, this is my, i think my favorite carolyn turner i love this beer bottle uh, she made for her brother on his 65th birthday beautiful. the sentiment that you get in the collection save water drink beer please drink responsibly everybody i love the um is that like an embossing folder in the background no there? do you know what is that, that is that's a textured corner die oh is it it's a textured corner die that were released i think last year or maybe the year before but that is beautiful and again it's showing you you can create your cards you can use your other things in your crafty stash and create some really simple beautiful cards with ease and again caroline that is absolutely beautiful i bet your brother loved that yeah and using it as a topper as opposed to the actual yep. card itself but then christine crone has um, made these for father's day so literally just taking that um die and creating a really really uh, fantastic card simple but so effective debbie yeah it, it really really is and and it's again just showing you that that bottle die has got three different tops that you can create yeah. something really different with and again christine that's another lovely one where you've used it as a topper on the front of your card beautiful use it in one way or two ways or Three ways where you can use three bottles in there. <laughs> three I bottles of beer on the wall, three <laughs> bottles of beer. And then again, use your stencils in the background, use die cuts that you've got, but look how fabulous that looks. Love it. Uh, and Shirley made these to raise funds uh, for her local mountain rescue team. Again, so talk about random crafts of kindness. There you go, there's one right there. That's good. I love that teapot. Yeah, that's beautiful. Another gorgeous one there, Shirley, too. Is there a nice little verse in the centre of that, Ben? It's, I'm trying to read this. I cannot often... Oh, no. I can't quite read it. Are your it. eyes letting you down? I that, cannot don't, often don't visit. ask me because I can't read it at all. It just looks like a live, smudge to me. But that's absolutely beautiful. Says, I love that card, Shirley. I cannot often visit. You live so far away. But I often think of you, which brightens up my day. I'm sending you a tea bag to make a cup of tea, and in return for my thoughts, I hope you'll think of me. Oh, oh I love Shirley. that. Oh, that is just fabulous. That is fantastic. I love that. And I bet inside she did put her, uh, a tea bag in there because that's what you can do. You know, these are fabulous. That's a cute card, Shirley. I absolutely adore that one. Fantastic. Can I just, before I recap the offer as well, just read you a few comments on um, beverages uh, because those of you coming in would talk about beverages. So basically from this show, we've learned that you definitely want to have um, coffee dyes. So Aisha's saying, yes, uh, we want a French press, cafetiere, uh, coffee mugs, coffee cups, uh, latte cups, coffee beans, and K-cups. I don't know what that is. What's a K-cup? What's a K-cup? It's like a... Oh, an, an instant... An, we call it an instant coffee cup. Is that a frothy coffee to me? Frothy, all right. Or oh, frothy coffee. A frothy coffee. Depends where you're from. I'll call it an instant <laughs> coffee cup. Daddy calls it a frothy coffee. Uh, Aisha <laughs> says we could have sentiments for the, uh, the coffee range, saying grounded for life. I like that. Press on. I like that. And lattes and love. Are you sure? You're just like making the whole range of this is great. I would also buy some coffee related stamps and dice, says Helen Moore. My partner is, is obsessed with coffee. Uh, he bought his own mini barista machine. I mean, that is next level. I would love a barista machine. Um, and talking about tea, Gilmore says the tea in the US is weak, usually because they make iced tea out of it. I like my hot tea black or sweet tea, Erin saying as well. Uh, and Rhonda Crowley on YouTube saying, Lapsong Souchong is my hubby's tea of choice. Probably spelt it wrong. Uh, my favourite teas are any of the red teas. Uh, my wife drinks a lot of, um, oh, what is it called now? It's like, um, can't st I can't stand it. Earl Grey. <laughs> is what she... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> no, I'm so sorry, I didn't think my microphone broke no. then. The smell oh, of it oh, puts God, me no. off, Debbie, at no. all. It's no. horrible. It's just awful. I once had one. Someone told me it's about its lovely qualities that it had. Yeah. And I... I can't describe what I did when I took a sip well, of it. Did you, did it you go? Uh, 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 did I just? It uh, came straight back uh, out. Let me tell you, straight back out. Well, that's lovely. <laughs> um, sorry if you're having a lunch right now. Uh, let's let's move <laughs> let's move on swiftly. We'll talk more about tea later on, but let's. Get back to business and talk about this collection because you are loving it and I'm not surprised. The great thing about this is if you are, if it is brand new to, of course, you can go for the full bundle where the main value for money uh, for you is. But if you want to break it down, then you can do it as well. But look, already I think you've seen the simplicity of this. The cards are brilliant. Amazing that with one cut, one pass, you can create all of these different shape cards. And then you've got all of the stamps on top to be able to decorate, to be able to personalize. The bottles are amazing. Uh, the cupcake is, again, just brilliant i love that card that we saw a little bit earlier on um where the cupcake was stacked i mean there's so much versatility with these the dresses we've seen amazing you can kind of do your mixed media crossover get bits of material into this uh, to really create a, a stunning dress card and then the teapot again um, i love the fact that we saw some uh, lovely cards earlier on again using different bits of uh, sort of craft to be able to make these stand out even further within each of the dies you get the mini dies to kind of decorate like with the teapot you've got the cup and the spoon the dress you've got the the shoes and the um the the don't say belly band then the waistband uh and then you've got cherries and hearts and all sorts with the cupcake and don't forget you get the top row as well all of the stamps included uh, to match up with each of the dies i think it's a phenomenal buy uh, the dies only just back in stock to kind of complete this bundle if you like and it is yours today for 74.97 or 98.97 you're already saving 44.95 or 60.95 and then if you're platinum you can take another 20 percent off that so it comes down to 59.97 or 79.17 there is lots more chat coming in uh, so we will have a look at that in just a few moments time mainly tea and coffee related how on earth did we get onto that uh, but we will have a look at that in just a few moments time but let's see some more demos um where are we going next debbie with our uh, our next demo the teapot Aha. i love the teapot and again i mean all of these dies are just fabulous this is a great big chunky die though app look how gorgeous that is and again you've got all those extra pieces where you can create your tags uh, you've even got your element where you create your little if you wanted to put something inside your teapot this is going to be the one because it's the lid the lid opening part you've got a spoon on there you've got your cup you've got your saucer and all those kind of things that are on there so i absolutely love these you've even got your where you can create your gift tag around the middle as well so just a fabulous set and then we're not even started with those stamps again a lovely set of stamps that you're going to be able to use time and time again um, and a nice play on words have a terrific day tea is liquid wisdom you're my cup of tea ben uh, Thank tea you. is a hug in a cup and then you've got birthday and a lovely lovely one mother's day on there may your cup be fair wait a minute what? may your cup be wait a minute what Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> I thought he said tea filled. I thought that don't make sense. Uh, overfilled. Debbie can't read. With blessings. And then tea for two. Thank you, uh, our lovely George there in the gallery for helping me out just slightly there with my little uh, faux pas. Right, I'm going to use some craft card. I love craft card. Um, it may not be on the show, but it'll be definitely on the website. So go and check that out. And all I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to create that, bl that blank. And to make it really simple, regardless which way you use these, I am just going to take... In fact, I'm going to use it and just lift off the, um, the little nozzle at the top. What did they call that bit? The, um, the lid. The, te the teapot lid. Yeah. The, cra the craft stop, by the way, the craft stop. The craft card is on the show, bottom of your screen. Oh, yes. I knew I used it for a reason. Yeah. I, knew I, used it I was for talking a about it a minute ago. Did you really? I had it over in. I was talking. I was going oh, like this. I, I was going apologize. all the time. <laughs> what, what were you doing over there? I was well, going, I, I, I was having a go at you to make sure you were listening. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? I went. No, it's fine. <laughs> People normally don't listen when I talk. No, you know what it is, Ben. No, I know you're getting we have ready. To get ready no, for I the know next you one. do. So we have to clear off his bits. Yeah. Put his next bits on. Ready to show you those bits. So that's why I went listening. So I do apologise. No, it's fine. Don't you worry about it. I know you're busy. <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> so I want to take this off now. Literally, all I'm going to do, it creates that card blank base again, which I just think it's just such an easy way of doing it. And again, you just literally, by me taking that top off, it's left it connected to the cardstock. So again, that lovely shape there. And then I'm going to create myself... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to create another one to stick over the top. And it, again, it strengthens it. Not only does it strengthen it, it creates the top that I missed off there. So what I'm just going to do is pop that back on. So place that on, pop that down, run that through. And again, this now will go over the top to create that really nice full feature of the teapot. And then I'm going to use some papers on there. I'm going to use some of the stamps and some of the extra decorations, which I just think are super cute. The teacup and saucer, I just love. Um, but again, I mean, that poem that was on, was it Shirley again? I think it was Shirley. Was it Shirley? Who's I think that? It was Shirley. Shirley. We did that gorgeous card with that, uh, oh, uh, yeah, with the... that lovely card with the centre in the middle mm. of that beautiful... Uh, that is just, honestly... What a lovely idea and what a lovely poem as well. A really, truly lovely poem. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this on and now you'll see that it covers the full base up there. If you want to add a little bit of dimension though, use your foam pads. Get your foam pads by, by, at the back of it and it'll create a little bit of extra dimension, which I just think sometimes gives it a nice little lift as well. So let's pop a few of those on and then take those off. And I'm going to add that on and then we can start to add the decoration part to it. So I'm just going to go straight over there. There we go. Making sure you line it up. Nice and flush. Oh, I forgot to put a little one on my handle. Let me just put a little one on my handle, Ben. Won't be happy until I've done it, so you're going to have to bear with me. That's all right. Whilst you're doing the, the, the tea chat on here is brilliant. Terry Tom says, in the USA, I drink uh, Tetley green tea, oolong tea, chai tea, several herbal teas, and so many more. I use the Lipton tea for sun tea. Sun tea? Or you may know as iced tea. Okay. Uh, thyme tea is awesome for an upset stomach or heartburn. Dried thyme leaves steeped. Uh, and then Patty's yeah. saying uh, for our um, our coffee set, which is, I mean, this hasn't been signed off yet, but uh, you need a coffee cup, to, a to-go coffee cup, steam, foam, whipped cream, a coffee pot, coffee beans, cute coffee sayings, a gift card holder for coffee gift cards, round icons to put on the to-go cup, holidays, birthdays, thank you, etc. Uh, now you have it. Well, Patty, thank you. I mean, <laughs> give our design team a call, put that to, and I'm sure they'll they'll whip up this brand new collection that. Um, well, well, we'll ask. If everyone wants, a, you know, a coffee collection, then we can put it to the guys, can't we? Eh, Debbie? We can say, oh, people why, want coffee. Why not? Why not? Exactly. Why not, Ben? Why not? Uh, right. So what I did there, Ben, was I used my um, cardstock here. And this one is from that lovely... Um, oh, I think it's from the... Um, <gasps> I think it's the Rose Garden. Right. I think it's the Rose Garden one. Have we got Rose Garden on the show? Yes. I thought we did. And this is the Rose Garden one. And I've just used, you know, the other die that was on there. So that lovely die here. I'll put that back on. I just popped that on. What that does is it lifts it up. So it's just a lovely one. So again, that lovely feature where if you wanted to put something sticking through there, you could do pop, perhaps put one of your tea bags under there as well. So that's going to go over the top of that as well. So now I'm just going to use my tape pen. Okay. So let's pop, if the tape pen, come on. Yeah, there we go. We'll use that over the tape pen. And then I'm just going to stick those bits down onto the top. And then literally again, I'm just matching and marrying that up. And that sits over the top. Now I've got my lovely card blank and it's got a little bit of dimension because it's got those lifted pads up. I could have done the same with that little sheet, but I just kept it nice and flat on that one. Gives it that lovely uh, feel, that, um, that base feel where it stands. So it's standing there, nice and proud, ready now for all the decorated parts. Love it. So when we use the decorated parts, let me just put my uh, die back on there for a second. Uh, you've got all these to choose from. So you've got your uh, cup. So when you cut your cup out, and you can cut one or two, it depends on how many you want to pop on there. You've got your little cup, and I've used the go rose garden, rose, <coughs> the rose garden, garden paper bag yes. again. <laughs> one of these days, one of these days. I've got um, this lovely feature here, which is this circular one, two parts. And what that did was I used it to create, first of all, my lovely outer part, and then the inner circle, and I used T in brackets, a hug in a cup. 
I just love that. I think that's absolutely fabulous. Uh, and I'm just getting a little distressed with that fire brown going around the outside again. Okay. Uh, so really beautiful set of dies on there. And that's not all, Ben, because you've got the cute little teaspoon I on know, there. I know, I love it. I love the teaspoon. So much so. I've got myself a couple out already. Uh, just choose your cardstock, what, you know, your colours. It's down to you what you want to use uh, to colour this part in. Uh, but now what we're going to do is build all of that element up. Ooh. Oh, I nearly forgot. The tag. Let me go back to the tag. Where's my dies gone? Where's my dies gone? Ben, can you see my dies? Uh, they were in front of me a minute ago. What uh, did you just do with them? Oh, I did. I haven't done anything. I'm over this side of the studio. I well, excuse me a minute. I've just placed them. Do you, do you want to just, just give read me a some second, ben. comments whilst you have a little look? Yes, please. Because, oh, right. oh, Ben. Oh, you got them. What? Need to get back to stack photos. It, those ones there? They were there. Oh, I thought you were looking for somewhere else. Well, why didn't you tell me, Debbie? The ones in front of you. Oh, I thought you were looking You're for somewhere else. You're supposed to be my anchor man, my wing man. What did you say? My left hand man. Oh, right. I thought you were looking for somewhere else. When you said, when I, when you said I'm looking for my dies, I thought you can't mean the dies that are right in front of your nose that we can all see on screen right now. I thought you were looking for somewhere else. What, well, and what are you like? Uh, well... What am I like? I mean, come on. Sometimes I don't see things, the simplest things in front of me. Oh, do you know what, though? I always love that bit because uh, I throw that bit in there to make everybody else feel normal. Exactly because right. Because exactly, everybody sat there now watching. I bet you do the same thing too. You look, you're hunting, iron low, and you'll be like this. Where's my poker tool? Where is it? Starting to, literally, and there it is, lying in front of me all along. And that's exactly what I'm like. So that's why I did that little bit, a little bit of part of the demo. Were you, were you here the other day? Was it Monday when I couldn't find my car keys? Was, yes, yeah. I was. And I was searching, <laughs> I was about half an hour late, I couldn't find my car keys anyway. I was searching in my bag about, must have been 20 times. I was looking for them for half an hour. And then uh, Charlotte, director Charlotte came out of the shoe, said, you looked in your bag? I said, yeah, of course I've looked in my bag. I've looked in there loads of times. Uh, and she came into the green room with me, uh, opened my bag up, and guess what she saw? <laughs> My car keys. They weren't there the previous 20 times that I'd looked in there, though. So I know how you feel, Debbie. You sometimes can't see something when it's so, right yeah, under your sometimes nose. Sometimes you just cannot see the simplest of mm. things right in front of your nose, and you really can't. Um, oh, honestly, Ben, I it mean, happens. sometimes I just wonder about myself. I really do. It happens. It does, doesn't it? Yep. So I'm just going to pop my little teacup hanging over the edge there. So I'm going to pop that on. And then I was going to talk to you about my little tag, wasn't I, from my dies. Oh, yes. The reason why I lost them in the first place um, I used the die cut here with a piece of the cardstock and just extended it slightly uh, and I've used a bit of twine and then I've also used the lovely little on the stamp set again so let me bring the stamp set back in you've got the lovely little T that fits inside perfectly inside that little die there and again you could hang a tea bag in there if you wanted to um, but I'm just going to simply stick that behind oh Debbie you forgot to do it before there you go <laughs> I forgot to do it before Ben um, and then I'm just going to hold that down with a little bit of uh, tape. So let's pop my little T there. Time for tea. There we go. And then what I'm going to add on just to finish this off is put my little spoon. So let me little spoon. Let's have a look. Let me use me. I'll use my 3D glue for this one. So 3D glue just onto the back of my spoon there. And then I'm going to finish that off with a little bow just in the middle of me lid, little bit of gingham. And there you go. So now you've got your beautiful uh, shape again, stands Love proud, it. proud as punch on any mantelpiece or anywhere you want it to. Can you imagine if you're selling these cards, Ben? Yeah. Something that little bit different, how different do these look? Because they've got that lovely shape to them where they just stand perfectly. But how fabulous these are. Any design, cupcake, teapot, dress or bottle. Yeah. I also think those would be nice if you had a little tea room or do you know what I mean? Just as like a little table. Um, yep, I would just, uh, do you know, it's almost like you've read my mind. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Because I was thinking the same thing. What about if you own your own tea rooms? I know there's not many of us that own them. Oh, I'd love to own my own. But yeah, what about popping them in the middle of your centre of your little tables on there with maybe a menu coming off them? Yeah. Or what about a little gift? I mentioned this this morning. What about a little gift if you want to treat someone to an afternoon tea? Oh, yeah. Make this all up and then pop inside the little verse about taking someone out for afternoon tea. That would make a gorgeous. Uh, a gorgeous way of using them. There I got that right. But how fabulous is that, Ben? Love it. Just love um, them. 
It is absolutely gorgeous. And again, versatility is the key with that one. There's so much chat coming in about tea. And I love this. Just a couple more. Uh, Marilyn is saying, I'm cringing at this tea conversation. If it's not sweet with lemon and coal, it's a no from me. Uh, just never developed a taste for it. Uh, Molly Hanna says, I first tried coffee on a trip to England. We went camping in the moors on the trip and I got food poisoning. Cue Debbie's gag voice. Uh. <laughs> Uh, let's say I never liked coffee since. Uh, Valerie says, sun tea is putting your tea bags in a glass jar and letting it sit out in the sun all day. Um, and everyone's still chatting about this coffee set, which we've not made. Uh, I think, says For Holiday Designs, a coffee set would sell out very quickly in the States. What a great card. Thank you, Debbie, says Linda. Uh, Samantha just saying, I have all these dyes except the bottle. Happy to get ideas for decorating. Um, and read Debbie's lost dyes. Mary Ihada says, don't worry, Debbie, that happens to me as well. Uh, if you are buying these dies, you might be in need of a manual die cutting machine. And if you are, um, my favorite, the one that I have at home, the one that I use when I get some time to uh, craft with my daughter, the MIDI. It's brilliant. It's a manual die cutting machine. It's perfectly portable. It is simplicity without electricity. I'm going to use that one. I'm going to keep that one uh, because it is it's the portability with this. It's the precision for your die cutting and your embossing. And it is all about giving you the power that you would expect from a Gemini machine. You've got the suckers on there as well. So it's going to be nice and stable when you use it. You've got that six by um, nine design on this again. So you've got plenty of scope for all of your crafting. And it's so practical as well. If you want to craft on the go, if you don't always want to use your bigger machines, if you want like kind of like a, a, an in-between machine, this is absolutely brilliant. And as I said, if you want to now start crafting out and about, if you want to go and meet friends, you don't want to be lugging your big electronic machines and then trailing cables around. Uh, this is totally portable uh, and absolutely brilliant. You're going to get the plates that you need in there as well to be able to get crafting. It's simplicity for the fact that you've got uh, your one folder to pop your dies into uh, and then of course if you want to do then your embossing you get your plastic shim included in there as well uh, for your 2d embossing folders and your 3d embossing folders just go straight through it's so super simple but it's so super brilliant 69.99 or 89.95 if you want to get the midi into your collection today it's been out of stock for so long uh, but it's great to have it back um, in the stock today now uh, as far as the collection is concerned a few of you have been asking actually is it available individually who asked that a little bit earlier Alicia said can I get these uh, individually yes you can so let's just quickly break it down for you uh, the bottles up collection is obviously your shaped bottle cards uh, so these are $24.99 or $32.99 individually and it basically works out that you uh, you pay for the dies and then you get the stamps absolutely free. Uh, so 13 dies that you get to be able to create all of the different bottles and then the um, really cute stamps to go with it as well. 35 stamps in total there. Uh, that comes down to 19.99 or 26.39 if you're platinum. Then we've got your sweet treats, which is your cupcake. So again, with that, you've got everything you need to be able to make the cupcake card and you've seen how easy it is to achieve. And then you've got little flags and cherries and hearts to decorate that up. The stamps come for free within that deal too. Uh, things like happy birthday. It's a cupcake kind of day and love. Then you've got your um, Be Fabulous. So that's the gorgeous dress. And again, I mean, there's so much scope with this. The dress that Debbie made a little bit earlier on, amazing. Think about all the papers that you got. Think about getting your fabrics included in there as well to make these dresses really stand out. That comes with smaller dies of um, shoes and bows and uh, waistbands and all sorts. You've got the stamps for free included in there as well. Uh, and then for the same price, all of these individually, you have got the uh, Time for Tea, which is the teapot that we've just seen. Make yourself a little teapot card. Comes with dies with little spoons and um, cups and saucers and you've got 17 stamps to go with that as well tea for two uh, tea is a hug in a cup and more uh, all of those for platinum members are 19.99 or 26.39 now also just worth mentioning ending on friday our uh, spring sale it is now on uh, loads of you have been taking advantage of this deal basically you need to head to the web where you will find deals of up to 70 percent off search spring sale and you'll find a whole host of goodies there the good thing about the spring sale is even, even if you've only got a few quid to spend a few bucks to spend uh, you will find something there i can guarantee it and as i say savings of up to 70 percent off on our website right now is the time for us to have a little cup of tea i think whilst uh, you check out your baskets i know loads of you never want to miss the action so this is the point of the show where we 
basically put it on pause. You can check out your carts, check out your baskets, and we'll come back in a couple of minutes' time to show you even more demonstrations with this amazing collection. In the meantime, here is a little video which will explain more about Club Inspire here at Crafters Companion. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. Become a member of our club today. Um, Stephanie Theodos on Facebook just saying the papers that launched yesterday on the uh, Nature's Garden Farmhouse collection would be lovely with the teapot. Yeah, I think they would actually. That's a really good shout. If you did manage to get your hands on that uh, Nature's Garden Farmhouse collection, uh, congratulations. You're going to love that when you get it. Uh, and Kaza1 on YouTube says, I'm loving your explanations and descriptions, Debbie. I wanted a whoosh effect on that dress. So, uh, yeah, keep the, keep the descriptions coming, but more sound effects from your sound of the studio as well, please, uh, Debbie. Right, we have literally got less than 40 minutes remaining, so um, let's crack on with some more demos. It's great to know that so many of you have got this collection, or certainly elements of this collection. Don't forget that if you are someone who's only maybe got one of the dies or a couple of the dies, they are all available individually, as we just um, showed you before the video there. So uh, if you want to go individually, you can do. If you've seen them for the first time, go for the full bundle, because that is the best way to get the best value for money. OK, let us get back over to Debbie, and we are going to be doing some more card making. Which one are you looking at this time? So the last one in the collection is the cupcakes. So oh, yes. What I'm doing is I'm taking you through each one of them, how they are all used as uh, the card-shaped blank. The next two demos that I've got planned is just mixing it up a little bit. So what we're going to do, Ben, is we're going to take this gorgeous one. And again, you've got all the lovely features on there where you've got your flag, which I just say a flag. It's like what you put on top of your cupcake. Yep. You've got your icing. You've got your birthday cake. You've got a little love art on there. You've also got a little cherry. And then you've even got a tag on there too. And then obviously this is the worker part of your base. Now it works slightly differently, this one, because you've got this lovely scalloped feature. All you're going to do is take a piece of white stamping card again. I folded it down the center and I'm just going to literally overhang it this way now okay so it's going the opposite end so I'm going to bring in and I'll use my midi again so let's pop that onto there and I'm just going to find my yes find my low tack tape <laughs> hold that down <laughs> and both places pop that through that's the folder to create the combination on your midi which makes it super super easy to use you're going to pop that through and you're going to just turn your handle and let the midi do all the hard work for you and it really is a fantastic machine I can't stress it enough yes it's manual it's not electricity Wait a minute, not electronic, that's you with that electricity. Um. It's simplicity without electricity. <laughs> I'm, d I'm definitely going to keep that one. I, do you know, I want to keep that one if you I could can remember it. <laughs> I want that simplicity a... <laughs> without electricity. Simplicity without the electricity. Yeah, I'll let I you use that, Debbie. That you can have down. that one as well. Yeah. yeah, I might have to write that one down. Right, so when we take this off now, Ben, what we've got here is the card blank that opens up this way and stays connected. Lovely. Now, again, you're going to use your die and you're going to run through with the chosen cardstock. So I chose a textured cardstock with this to create the full image. So that creates that full image and it sits on the top. I However, I want to get a little bit of a uh, little bit of a 
Titivation. <laughs> so I thought I'd bring again. in. I know. Sorry. Thought I'd bring in one of the embossing folders that are on the show. So we've got we've oh, got yes. three in total. We've got a lovely, and I'll bring these round for you. We've got this brick layers, which creates the brick. We've got the lovely setting stone, which is like that old-fashioned stone. And then we've also got this beautiful one, which off the top of my head, we got, Ben. I've got four over here. We've got trellis, trellis wells and yep. the spring forest. That's their one. Yep, four. absolutely. Now, bringing in your midi, well, I said I'd mention how you use it. This is your embossing folder combination. Folder, cardstock, purple shin. Yep. And that's all you do. And then you run that through. And this is simply how you use for the embossing. And that is it, Ben. I'm just moving everything off there then. Just shows you how powerful them suckers are. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> literally now, what that has done is given me a beautiful detail. However, I just want to give it something, something a little bit extra. So let me grab myself a dauber. Oh, what's that colour you got there? This one is pink tulip. Ooh, I'm lovely. just going to give it a soft, literally soften yeah. uh, around that distressed area. It's a bit of a chalky finish, this one, but it's our opaque pigment ink pads, which are absolutely brilliant. And we've got a set of pigment ink pads on, pink tulip being one of them. But if you wanted to, um, with it being a longer open drying type, it doesn't dry straight away, this one. It stays wet longer, yeah. which means you can add things like your... Um, clear embossing powder you, can. you could sprinkle that over the top and what that would do would mean you'd be able to create your own coloured embossing powder without having to buy a coloured embossing powder if that if you know what I mean yeah ben. absolutely so it gives again, you more scope doesn't it really yeah it does it gives you a bit of scope but all that's done as it's just lifted that embossed detail but it's got that lovely chalky kind of finish to it as well so it's really really lovely um, and a gorgeous one and I really like that I just think that gives it a nice little lift so I'm going to bring this back in and I'm going to pop this on again. Now I am going to lift it again. So I'm going to bring in my foam pads. So let's pop a couple of the foam pads on. And then I'm going to just pop that onto my base. So let's whip those backs off. Hey, look at me. Getting, getting really that's, fast with them. Have you noticed? That's Craig levels you've got going on there. Ah, I know. I've been watching him. Oh, is that what it is? I've been getting tips from him. Tips, yeah. Yeah, definitely tips. It's normally Jan that struggles with the uh, foam pads. Oh, I, if, <laughs> I, 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 I totally get where she comes from because sometimes I do with my silly TV nails trying to get them off. Oh, whoosh, yeah. Whoosh. 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 Yes, absolutely. So that's my base of my card done. But now I want to add my icing. So I'm going to use, um, and again, I'm just trying to think of this card, which one this is from. <gasps> Oh, uh, um, but you know what I like about it? It's I've like, seen it's that. It's almost like it's got, do you know those 100,000 sprinkles all over it? And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love We've it. We've got that today. Got... That's from... That... Is it on this one? Isn't that from the Spring Fever? It's this one, isn't it? Hang on. Uh, isn't it that one? Show me again. Is that one, isn't it? I'm going to have to have a look. Show me again. Show me, Ben. Show me. Can we get in close? Oh, we're getting there. Here comes George. Here comes. Is that the same one? No. Isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. No. What you got? No, but do you know what? That one's better. Oh, well, all right then. Oh, oh good. I wish I'd have had that one now. Oh. 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 What's your one? I then? wish. I, do you know what? I can't remember where I got it from then. I'll, I'll have to oh. have a little look. I'll see if I can jog my memory because I'm absolutely shocking. We're trying to remember paper pads. It's just one of those things, Ben. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I think it might be an age thing as well. But literally now, now, oh, was that gorgeous picture that came in earlier where she layered up multiples oh. and she die cut lots. Uh. I mean, you could literally cut another piece out and then another piece. Yeah. And it can become a really big, juicy cupcake, Ooh, which I just Debbie. think is absolutely fantastic. Clarice sent it in. Ooh. Clarice. Clarice. What a gorgeous oh. name. Oh. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Sorry. Oh, it's because I couldn't hear you properly. Ooh. I love it. Oh. <laughs> Clarice. I love her name. I think it's Hello. a gorgeous name. Lovely name. It is lovely. <laughs> is that the same one from Silence of the Lambs, Clarice? It is. I thought it was. That's the, isn't that Jenny Foster's character? She's a wonderful actress, isn't she, Je Je Jenny Foster? Who's Jenny Foster? <laughs> Jodie Foster. Foster. I don't know if Jenny Foster is, but Jodie Foster is a great it's well, Clarice, love I love your name. Yeah. I just think it's a gorgeous name. Lovely name, great actress, great film, great it card, is. Clarice as well. I mean, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm just making sure I've got that stuck where I want to get it with my phone pads not on show because I don't want it to stick. No. So just bear with me while I get that lined up. There we go. 
Uh, are we lined up? Yes, we are. So I've got that little piece there. So now I've got my little cupcake top there. And then all I'm going to do is finish this off by adding on here uh, a matching backing paper. But I've used the birthday cupcakes. <laughs> Don't have calories yes ain't that the way <laughs> ain't that the truth ain't that the truth no they don't no they don't they don't have them at all and then all i'm going to do is pop this on and then we're going to add that into the center and i'm going to finish it off with let me just make sure i've got that oh, no, 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 no. do you know something's happening with my phone pads they're not very sticky oh they're drying so out or something they've kind of yeah so Bit of glue on the back well yes. no do you know what it's good because it's really warm in here today it is warm again, again to i know be fair. we say it every day but as the day goes along yeah, yeah. the temperature seems to rise do you want me to have in the doors uh it's all right ben all right. i'm fine i've got a fan on me i'll be okay don't you worry i'll be okay uh, I've just added a little bit of the hot glue. That'll just work it out. But again, all I'm going to do now is pop that on. And then I'm going to place a little ribbon on. And also on that set, there is a fabulous little candle. And all I've done with this candle is, is I have decorated it. I've double cut it, laid it up the candle. But you could take your colouring mediums. Uh, and I've used um, a different colour this time. It's a fuchsia one because I want that to stick out from behind me bow. There we go. So let me bring back in my um, hot glue gun. What is going off with my hot glue gun today? What's going Come on with all your adhesives today? I've never I seen know, this before. I tell you, I think it's the heat. I, do, I genuinely yeah. do think it's the heat. Uh, sometimes it can have an effect, um, Ben. It can have a real effect. Uh, so let's just pop that down there. And then I'm just going to place my little candle just behind it. And there you go. Apart from adding a few, uh oh, uh oh, I need to put some on there. I tell you, I might have got a dodgy batch actually, knowing me, knowing my look, I will have done. <laughs> oh, it could be that I've had them quite a while because um, you know me, Ben. I am a chunky girl kind of glue. Wait a <laughs> minute. Ch chunky, a girl, wait a minute. chunky glue kind chunky. of girl, you mean? Oh, no. <laughs> Not a chunky oh. girl kind of glue. <laughs> the, 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 the heat seems to be affecting it, me. It's affecting well. everything <laughs> at the minute, I think, isn't it, to be fair? Yes, I'm a, I'm a chunky glue kind, kind of, of girl. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Now you can see your beautiful <laughs> cupcake. And again, you've got that lovely design where it opens up and again, freestanding there. So again, really lovely. And don't forget, you can use these as toppers. So this was one, and I won't have time to, I don't think I'll have time to demonstrate this, but this was one uh, that I've just used as a topper yeah. on a top of a box. So that could be my box that fits my card in there. Perfect. So I can pop my card in, pop a little gift in there, maybe a little sweet treat voucher, maybe some sweets in there, maybe a cupcake voucher. Uh, but what a lovely way of being able to use it. So card and box together, you can create these. But I did want to show you how each, every single one of these works as a card blank uh, that you use. Sh that shaped element, because that's what these are. They're shaped creator cards and they're absolutely fabulous. So that's all of them done. What will do now for the next half hour Ben is we'll concentrate on what else you can do with them uh, brilliant there's loads of love coming in for that demo um, Teresa Damico on Facebook says I would like that cupcake and I, I would as well actually Teresa very nice uh, Rebecca says I think that the the paper that we couldn't work out where it's from Rebecca Arnold says I think that is the traditional florals paper pack uh, I think that's what it's called uh, and uh, Miss USA lady says I wonder how much tape and foam pads they go through each day it's Ooh. a lot it is a lot <laughs> yeah I, I, I don't even want to think about that and Clarice has been in touch on YouTube Clarice who we talking about says thank you Debbie and yes I've been hearing that movie reference since 1992 Lol. hello Clarice or whatever he said wasn't it <laughs> um, <laughs> Right, <laughs> that's what he did there, wasn't it? That's what he did in there. Oh, didn't he ben, do that? trust you, trust you. Um, now I want to move. I want to move on quickly to <laughs> the embossing folders. Now these um, you haven't seen. Well, you saw briefly, but you haven't seen them in full. So I thought I'd just give you a uh, little bit of a look at the uh, diorama aperture embossing folders. These are super cool. Look at the price on these. $15.50 or $22, you're saving 20% and you'll save another 20% if you're a Platinum member. So within this collection, I love these, you've got set in stone. I think a, this particularly as well, it's one of those folders, right? If you're one of those people that goes, oh, there's nothing out there for blokes. I can never find like a nice background for, for me sort of blokey cards, uh, you know, cards for the guy, cards for the guys. Uh, then this is perfect. So you've got set in stone in this collection. Um, you then also got your brick layers. Uh, this one I love. This is your gorgeous um, spring forest. Again, how stunning is 
that if you've got some of those um, uh, woodland animals dies and things like that that would be perfect for it and then you've got your trellis swirls as well all four of those are yours for $15.50 or $22 less than another 20% if you are a platinum member and then those um, opaque pigment inks that um, Debbie was using so Debbie used the pink tulip Pink tulip. Pink tulip, which Pink is included tulip. in this collection. So yes, great with these. You know, if you want to use these with your embossing powders, as Debbie was alluding to, they are absolutely perfect for that. Um, great for blendability as well. So for blending, for embossing, these are the ones that you want to go for. Uh, and in this collection, really nice colours. So your pink tulip, then you're going to also receive your grasshopper. One of everybody's favourites, the uh, the good old honey pot. We see that more often than not, don't we? At least once a day here on Crafters TV. You've then got your spring meadow included. You've also got your crushed velvet. And then last but by no means least, the gorgeous parakeets. So There's some really, really uh, lovely, lovely colours within that collection. And as I say, for blending, they're great. Uh, for using with your embossing powders as well, perfect. 15% of the stock of those have gone. Uh, normally £30 or just shy of £30 or £41.70 at £23.95 or £33.36 today um, if you want to add those into your collection. I feel like this has been a really busy show and uh, do you know what I love more than anything about this show is the fact that you guys have been so busy on the socials with us. So many comments coming through, so many pictures coming through as well. We will very shortly indeed get uh, Debbie to line up her make so we can get you to vote for your demo of the show. But before we do that, let's see more things that you've been making because I've enjoyed this. Uh, the lovely Stephanie Theodos has been very busy with the uh, with the beer bottles, uh, creating a happy birthday card. Look at this. They're fab. Look yeah. at them. And again, choosing those three bottle tops to create three different styles. But look how fantastic that looks. I love that, Stephanie. Yeah. Beautiful. Got a 75 vintage there. And the, oh, I like the 53 as well. Uh, yeah, so that's there, that bottle of beer, which is marvellous. And then also, uh, Stephanie's been using that gorgeous dress card uh, too and putting this on the inside of the, the card this time. Oh, I love the invitation as well. Let's shower the bride. Yes. Oh, Melissa, I bet you had time of your life. Stephanie, that's gorgeous. Look how beautiful that looks cut out in all that glitter card. No. Absolutely gorgeous. That handbag, the shoes. Beautiful. I love that one. And then Carol, this looks like that, that must be fabric, hey, right? Carol? That looks like a bit of denim. Is that actual fabric? It must That looks like real fabric. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, that's beautiful. I love that. I love that with a little floral embellishment. Handbags being made out of it, Ben. Yeah. Look that's at that brilliant. belt. I know. Look at that belt round middle. That's glorious. Um, Beautiful. It shows how you can take it to the next level. And then Carol's made another look at. I mean, this is a this is a hey, gorgeous see, Carol, evening dress. Matt Bent, Carol's my kind of girl. Yeah. She's a blingy bling girl. Bling, that bling, bling. is stunning. I love that one. Absolutely love that one. I don't know what kind of paper's going off in the background. It looks a bit unky ish but it's absolutely beautiful. Love that one. Love, love, love. Hey, you have spoiled us with all of your makes today. So a big thank you for sending all of those in. Um, don't forget, you can still continue to send in your pictures should you want to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, any pictures of projects that you've made with uh, this collection recently, we would love, love uh, to hear from you. Um, <laughs> I used to just say uh, it's going to be hard to pick a demo of the show. These have all been fabulous. Rebecca saying that was a great impression, Ben. You are welcome. Um, and Gilmore de Mink says, Clarice, it's not as bad as Happy Gilmore. I finally broke down and watched the movie, uh, but despised the reference. Gilmore, Happy Gilmore's a great movie. I love that movie with Adam Sandler. Have you seen that one, Debbie? No. Oh, I'm, so not, I, I'm, not, I'm not really an Adam Sandler kind of girl. Ah, uh, really? Sorry. Oh, no, well, I liked his earlier films. I think his more recent films have gone a bit too goofy for me. But um, yeah, brilliant. Um, Gilmore, love that. Uh, and Nin says, hi, Ben, Debbie, the CTV team and everyone. Uh, home from work at last and just opened a CC delivery of my new creator car collection, Woo hoo. Well, Lynn, lovely to have you with us. Hopefully you had a great day at work. And uh, thank you for joining the party. We've got just over 20 minutes remaining. So let me just check. Are we going to do the lineup of the demo of the show yet? Or yes, we will. I think, oh, hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Debbie's going, oh, I've got time to put another one in. Well, I don't know really. Have, have we? Me being greedy. <laughs> How many have you done now? I've lost track. Four? I think I've done four, but now right. I want to change it up a little bit and show you different things that you can do. Well, be it. quick then. So go on, let me, let me do this. Right. Please, well, hurry up. Please, please, if I ask really nicely, will you let me? Okay, as it's you. Oh, fantastic. If it were Craig, I'd say no, but as it's you, <laughs> carry on. 
bless him. Oh, I hope he's having a lovely time. I, I really do. I hope he's having a gorgeous time. It looks fabulous. I've been looking at his posts and oh my God, don't Carnoustie look like a fabulous place. I may have to pay Carnoustie a visit one day because it's absolutely fabulous. In fact, I might get Craig to take me around and show me around. Actually, no, they won't let us two us off the same time together. No, they? definitely not. No, no, no. no. That's not allowed. Uh, maybe I'll ask him to tell me of the places to go when I'm in Carnoustie. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it looks absolutely glorious. The beach looks divine. That's kind of somewhere where I'd love to go. Yeah. So, Craig, if you're watching, I doubt it very much. Uh, <laughs> but I hope you're having a lovely holiday. Me too, Craigie boy. Yeah. Now, we're going to go back to the bottle of... I keep calling it the bottle of beer, but it ain't the bottle of beer. It's the bottle of whatever, champagne, wine, Prosecchio. Oh, Prosecchio. Uh, what else could you make it into? Bottle of Bucks Fizz. Oh, why did I not remember that? I know. Of course, a bottle of Bucks Fizz. Yeah. Oh, you've given me an idea. Uh, but I um, <laughs> absolutely love this. And again, straightforward, straight die cutting. I've cut myself with some Centura Pearl on this one. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Actually, this is not Centura Pearl. Debbie, you tell a bit of a fib. Uh, it's from the double-sided uh, luxury cardstock that we have as well. So that's absolutely gorgeous. I'm now going to run through some glitter cardstock with a bottle top on there as well. Oops, don't you be sliding off. Get back on there. There we go, close. And then we're going to feed that through. I talk to myself all the time. Close that up, run that through again. And again, it couldn't be any easier. You just simply turn that handle. And again, the power of the Gemini, it cuts through things like glitter card stock as well. And you've already seen it cut through that fabric as well as all those duplicate multiple uh, layers of... Um, um, cardstock, that's the word I was Sorry, yes, for. cardstock. I'm going to have to bring this gorgeous... Hey, uh, Debbie, in case you don't folder. know where your dies are, they're right in front of you, just there. <laughs> You are so kind, Ben. Thank you very much. <laughs> Absolutely. Sorry. You are super, super kind. But again, I'm just going to run this through. And a simple a simple equation when it comes to your embossing folder. And this is a standard embossing folder. But simply, all you do, Ben, purple shim, embossing folder. Yeah. If it's a 3D one. Just in on its own. On its own. Yeah. Couldn't be any easier than that. Oh, that's really lovely Ooh, it just look. gives it a nice little lift can you see there george is coming yeah. in for the oh he's coming in it's coming in come on george come on look oh at that. yeah I can how see it beautiful now. does that Beauty. look absolutely gorgeous um if you do have other things in your collection look i did one in a studded leather oh yeah, that's gorgeous. real it looks studded leather. that's the difference between a 2d and a 3d actually you can see the difference can't you a bit more um Umphy. Yeah, what's the I, word? I know what you mean. A bit more. Um, a bit more. Uh, Erin, uh, mm. mm. uh, yes. what's the word? What's a the bit word, Erin? Erin, what's umphy. the word? I know what you mean. It's a bit more. Like. Punch. Punchy. No. Dimension. Dimension. 3D. 3D ishness. 3D ishness. 3D curves. Those yeah. 3D curves. A bit like myself. 3D yeah. curves. <laughs> uh, but yeah, absolutely. I love. I love oh. any embossing folder. Can I just tell you? I am a total embossing folder addict. I really am. Now, I'm going to make myself a little bottle top for the bottle of a beer or a bottle of a glass of champagne. Uh, so I'll give you the measurements for this because this is, um, this is an A4 sheet that I have trimmed down to three and a half inches. So it's a, an A4 sheet trimmed down to three and a half inches. And then I've just scored that, if I remember rightly, at three inches. What I did though for this bit, Ben, was I brought in one of our nesting dies. Robust. Robust, I like that one. Sorry, well, Annika's yes. just texting the word <laughs> robust. So I used one of our stitched uh, circular edging dies and I've actually used it to create myself a little bit of um, an Ooh, extra okay. an extra element mm. to that card. It just it said the card, it's not a card. It's a bottle, bottle. a bottle hanger. Yes. Um, but literally you're just gonna pop that round the back there. So let's just um, place that. Now you'll have got lots of different um, uh, um, nesting dies nesting dies that you could use to create this so you could use your torn one you could use your um uh, the scalloped one the scallop one would be really pretty as oh, well yeah um and then also i've done ben is i've just now literally done a little bit of matting and layering with a couple of i mean this is a glorious uh, beautiful glitter cardstock and some paper on there and again i feel terrible i'm gonna have to have a little look at my notes because Oh, the Can't paper. Remember. Oh, it's the rose gold. It's the oh, rose gold. Rose gold. How did I forget? Do you know why? It's because I've got some, I've got a Sarah signature special coming up on uh, on Saturday. So I've been getting all my, uh, all my signature collections out. So yes, that's probably why I've got it and why I've used it on this particular demo. Because have we got this one on the show today, producer Erin? 
We've got the rose garden on the show today. You can use any on this one, to be fair. You can use any. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back... Where have I put my bottle? There we go. Let's bring in some foam pads again. And let's just lift off those backs because I'm going to lift this off as well. So it's going to lift off. So I'm going to place that down there. Then I'm going to bring in my bottle top. So a bottle top will go. Oh, look at that. Just look how beautiful that looks. I'm going to lift it off though again with um, a foam pad. So let's see if that one will fit just nice and neatly behind there. And then let me just pop that at the top. Oh, come. Oh, what's coming? I think I'm having arguments. I'm having arguments with my glues today. I really, really am. Uh, but I'm just going to put that onto there as well. Then I'm going to add now, because don't forget you've got your stamps in this collection. Uh, and this is one there that just fits lovely on Celebrate. that frame. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely glorious. They're all lovely. Um, there's some really cute sayings. I'm going to show you a couple of more samples in a minute with these because they're just fabulous. So I'm just going to pop that onto the centre of my panel. And then I'm going to... I think I might layer it up a little bit more. Yeah, why not? I'm, I'm going foam pad crazy today. Foam pad crazy. It's just not like you at all. It is not like me, no. It's not like me at Branching all. Branching out. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of wet glue. Oh, I say wet glue. Hot glue gum. Pop that on there. And then I'm going to finish that off with a little ribbon and there you go now you've got a lovely what you when you bought a bottle of something special That's for someone perfect. not only you could make them the card but you could actually gift this and pop that around the bottleneck as well and again just absolutely fabulous gorgeous these are really versatile dies yes they are shaped cards where you can see you can make those cards but the versatility in them means that you can do other things with them as well Ben. Do you, uh, do you want to quickly do the lineup before I just Shall go I do through my some goodies? Right, or... I might need a minute just to get me cards. Oh, okay. Together. Well, I tell you just what then. Just give me a second. Let me go through the goodies that we got on the show. So we've got your rose garden uh, paper pad, which I know has been proving very, very popular indeed. Um, almost seventy percent of the stock has gone here. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous paper pad. Is this fifty percent off? Six forty nine or nine ninety seven is the deal on this one. Um, 36 sheets you're going to get in total with this collection. Do you know what? I'm just thinking, uh, we, we've got, it says rose gold on the screen there. I've just noticed that. Rose garden. Uh, but yeah, rose garden, which is this paper pad here. Um, so ignore the details on the screen. <laughs> but that's the one we've got on the show for you. Rose garden. Uh, we've also got on the show for you as well your uh, luxury cardstock and this has also been proving very popular. There is 90 sheets in total with this collection and what I love about it is that you get uh, the different sort of um, style of uh, cardstock within the three sort of mini bundles. So let me just, there we go, sort them out for you. You've got your gold, all right, and within this collection You've got 10 sheets of the glitter card. I love our glitter card. It is the best. It's encapsulated glitter. So you get all of the sparkle, but none of the fuss with this. Your 10 sheets of that. You will, then, you will then get 10 sheets of your mirror card as well. I haven't got 10 sheets in here because someone's nabbed it, uh, but you will get 10 sheets. And then 10 sheets of that uh, matte mirror as well. So that is 30 sheets in total of your gold. Now on top of that, you're also going to get your ice blue. Gorgeous is this. Look at the glitter again. Yeah, that is what I'm telling you. That is sparkalicious. If you are uh, you know, looking for a, a beautiful cardstock to use maybe with your bottles, then you've got it right there. Uh, again, in the uh, glitter card, then you've got the blue mirror and then the matte mirror card in there too. 10 sheets of each, that's 30, plus the th uh, 30 you've got in the gold, that is 60 sheets. And then on top of that, you've got your green. I think the green might be my favorite. Uh, again, look at that glorious glitter. Uh, 10 sheets of that with that encapsulated glitter. 10 sheets of the uh, mirror card stock. Whoop, there you go. And then 10 sheets of that matte mirror too, which is just stunning. So it's got a little bit of a uh, yeah, it, it would. It would work beautifully again with your um, with your bottle dye. A little bottle of uh, bottle of shampoo's going on there. Love it. 30, 30, 30, 90. That price, low. Uh, 1998 or 3190, saving over 30%. What are you waiting for? Now is the time to grab this, the luxury cardstock collection. Do not 
miss out. Right, uh, very quickly, let's have a look at a few look at a uh, few look. Let's have a little look at a few of your comments, uh, and then I think Debbie has got her lineup ready for you to vote on your demo of the show. Um, I've loved all of the demos, says Yolanda Sanchez on uh, Facebook. Um, uh, Jay says on YouTube, now I love my bottle dies even more after that last demo from Debbie. Thank you. Great idea, says Sue L, to use the bottle dies. Thank you. Uh, and Lorraine Bennett on Facebook. Hi, Lorraine, says I bought three of those last time they had them on the show. So uh, even though some of you are saying I can't possibly vote, you're going to have to because now is the time to uh, line up the cards and see which is your favourite. Debbie, can you take us through them all, please, for anyone who's missed them? So we'll go back to the beginning. Number one was the bottle of beer because it is it's a bottle of beer so number one bottle of beer number two was the lovely puffy buffonti dress oh buffonti buffonti love that there, word. with that lovely fabric uh, from our threaders range absolutely beautiful and again you can see that lovely buffonti buffonti uh, buffonti feel so that's number two. two okay then number three we did our very oh. cool teapot uh, i love this one number three is the teapot then we did our cutesy little cupcake and I've added a few little diamantes onto there. Oh, uh, yes. So this is number four, which is that cupcake. And then lastly, we've just completed our lovely bottle mm. gift, bottle tag. And again, I've just added a couple of little diamantes onto there. So that is number five. There you go. So I've just left that down a bit for you. So I'm going to let you choose. Is it one, two, three or four? So number one, the beer. Number two, the dress. Number three, the tea pot number four the cupcake or number five that beautiful gift tag that you put onto your bottle well it's a bottle tag so yeah. there you go number five you uh, get voting you decide i will not sway you anyway but i have my favorite in that lineup um so i'm going to place a little bit in my mind as to which i think you're going to go for we'll see if we marry up in just a few moments time uh, you've got five minutes to vote on that, all right? So get your votes in uh, whilst we are going to do one more demo in just a few moments' time. Um, but before that, I just want to do a little bit of a recap on the full collection for you. The great news is, I think, is that loads of you have already got at least some of these dies. Uh, if you've got none of them, then this is the bundle that you need to go for because you have everything within this collection here. Um, all of the dies that you need, so from your bottle dies to your cupcake to your uh, beautiful dress and to your teapot, they all create that card for you, that shape card element, which is so, so perfect. But then of course you've got the ability to then cut the layers out as well to be able to layer up um, on the actual card shape itself. Or if you just want to use uh, the shaped elements as kind of mats and layers for your cards, then you can do that. All of these uh, as well come with smaller dies. So your bottles come with the bottle tops and the little uh, labels to put on your bottles. Your uh, cupcake comes with hearts and cherries and sprinkles. Then you've got your dress, which we've seen comes with your, uh, your little waistbands and your bows and your shoes. And then the teapot comes with the spoon and the teacup and all sorts. And then with each of the dies, which are only just back in stock, you've got the accompanying stamps with them as well. So 35 stamps to go with your beer bottles, 11 stamps to go with your cupcake, 12 to go with your dress and 17 to go with that um, time for tea. And all of them have got some beautiful sentiments on as well, which marry up perfectly with those dies. 74.97 is the deal or 98.97. And don't forget, Platinum members take another 20% off that price. So that is 59.97 or 79.70. Um, if you have, as I said, already got elements of this, check out our website because you will be able to see the smaller bundles where you'll be able to get each of these dies individually and then you get the stamps for free um, in a smaller bundle which is 24.99 um, or 20 32.99 Right, we have literally got uh, ooh, seven or eight minutes remaining. I'll wait for the votes to come in on your demo of the show. And Debbie is going to be taking you through one swift final demo. What can you show us, Debbie? Right, so I've been showing you how you can do all your card blanks a little bit different. But if you don't feel comfortable doing it that way, you can actually cut them out in two separates. So I've already pre-done this for you. So what I've just done is I've used the dress die for this and I've cut two dresses out. But what I've done is I've put a little score line in the top so that I've got two solid pieces and this is enables by having that score line it means it enables it to act as that card blank so it but it goes back onto itself so let me just show you what i mean by that i'm just going to pop on a little bit of 
tape just to the very top part where I've done that score line. I'm going to sit that over the top so that the front part of my dress is a solid, but then I've got that little piece where it goes back. So the fold literally just folds back on itself to create that shape as well. So there's a couple of ways that you can do that. You've been watching me do it where I've been overhanging the top, then cutting another panel to go on the top, but you can actually just cut it in separates and then just attach it so you've got this lovely feature here. Now I've also been um, uh, using some cardstock. Now I found this cardstock in the back. I was rooting through Tracy's bits, uh, and this is just really good. I know, bless her. She's, yeah. she, she lets me have a route around, um, and I'm going to be really honest. I haven't got the foggiest where this has come from. It's probably one of our older paper pads because um, we're having a bit of a clear out in the back. Yeah, we are. Uh, so we've bit been, of a sort. Yep. Yeah, so when I spotted it, I was like, I'm having that. I'm having some of that, and I've already been doing some uh, die cutting elements too. So when I say die cutting elements, I've cut myself a little collar again. She's going to sit round that top, and again, these just are so easy to put together, Ben. You're going to love them. I know you are, and if you know, you've already seen some of the amazing uh, pictures that we've had from our uh, lovely no, viewers. So many already, today. Yeah, and I mean, literally, the most gorgeous, gorgeous ways that you can use them. There's been some real beautiful makes. Um, absolutely fantastic. They really are. Now, I've used some of the stamps of this element, and I've already, I've already got them lined up onto me. Um, I've been putting some little diamantes. If you know me well, you'll know that I love my little diamantes. Uh, oh, it's a little gem producer. Little sparkly Erin. diamond, isn't so it? So these are pearl ones. Um, I have got a bit of an addiction. Our Craig fed me last addiction. God love him. Did he? He, he did. He gave me loads. Ben, I could have kissed him because uh, I absolutely. <laughs> Bless him. I absolutely love them. Back in the day, you could have done. Couldn't yeah, you? Like, I know. It was just a virtual hug. Yeah. Uh, but what I'm just going to do now is line these up against the bottom, and I'm going to alternate them between um, a large one. So let's pop a large one just on there, uh, and then I'm going to go small. So we'll go small, then we'll go large, and then small. What a perfect piece of paper for that dress, says Annika. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. But you think of all the things that you've got in your crafty stash. And I, when I show you that beautiful one that that gorgeous design team made, oh my days, the one with the lace ribbon, I mean, come on. It's just super stunning. It really is absolutely beautiful. So I've just lined those all up on the bottom. Oh, I've got another one there. Yeah. Oh, I'll use that for top. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use you at the oh, top. Oh, put it, at the, yes. Yeah, I'm just Great thinking. Idea. Let's, let's just pop it up like there. That. So that one's going to go. Then I've got myself, you shall go to the ball. Oh. Absolutely. So I'm popping some uh, 3D cloud glue just around there. It's going to stick on. I've actually got a couple of shoes because I've, I've die cut these twice and popped on the matching one. Put me a couple of shoes together. Cinderella-esque, isn't it, this one? No, Gorgeous. Eh? I love this. And honestly, oh, I, I, like I, I say I shouldn't have favourites, they? but honestly, it's just beautiful. It really is. Yeah. Oh, no, where's my band gone? <gasps> Let Your waistband? Yeah, where's my waistband gone? <gasps> no, you I lost thought I'd lost it, Ben. I oh, thought I'd lost it. it with my bow. <laughs> there we go. Let's pop that on. Oh, wrong way around. Be wrong way around. There you go. So I've got to pop that on. Um, and then I'm just going to... Oh, do you know what? I'm going to pinch that. Let me just pinch that little... Uh, come on, Diamond, to get off. Off, off. No, no. It's lost. I've lost it. Leave it. However... Gorgeous, I'm Debbie. It. Gorgeous. I'm going to leave it as it is because... It's super, super. I mean, obviously, I cheated and I had everything already pre cut and pre done. Yeah, but However, good to see. it was just showing you another way that you can use it. But how beautiful is that dress design? It's absolutely gorgeous. Bet, can I just bring this in for a second? That just is how amazing. Incredible is that dress. I absolutely love it. And it's all it, all it is is ribbing, layer upon layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of ribbing over that dress base. And then an embossing folder at the top. How gorgeous is that? I don't know if Rebecca is still with us on the US design team, but let me just tell you, Rebecca, that, that is absolutely gorgeous. And these are the things that you can achieve with this fabulous set of creator cards because the only, what's the, what's that? The only limitation is your creative, what's it, your creativity? Yeah, the only that limitation one. is Thank your you. own creativity. Something like that. 
We'll like go with that. that. Something like that, yes. Absolutely. Um, Mary just says, thank you, Debbie and Ben, as well as the crew for a fun show. Uh, the paper that uh, Debbie was using, according to Katie Henderson on Facebook, is uh, from the Vintage Florals paper pad. So there you are. Uh, Dana just saying, love the flowers on the bottom. So adorable. Shelley says, I think this one is my favourite. Uh, Rhonda says, I vote for that one. You can't vote for that one. It wasn't in the vote, unfortunately. <laughs> but you have all voted, which is good news for the winner of, of demo of the show. Uh, and the winner is, I hope you can remember the numbers because I can't. I can. The winner is not number five. Uh, oh, that was my gift tag. Uh, no, I thought that was the one way. I had a bet on. I thought, is that one you thought was I thought I was going to yeah. win. Oh, it's no, not no. number one. It's not number one. Not or five. number two. Or number two, which was my dress. The winner is number three. Oh, my teapot. The teapot wins it. It's my teapot. Yep. Yay. Oh, I love it. It is beautiful. Actually, it's the papers and the card that make that look absolutely beautiful. I just had fun creating with it then. And these are the kind of things that you can achieve easily. You've got loads of stash in your crafty stash. I know you have. When you've got these dies, you're going to be able to create things like this and more. You've seen some fabulous creations today. I've had a blast. I'm so glad I agreed when Sarah said, Debbie, do you fancy doing something a little bit different with a masterclass? And I went, go on, then tell me what it is. I'm so glad I accepted that challenge from our lovely Sarah because this has been a real fun show and I've really enjoyed working with these old classic dies. They are absolutely phenomenal, great price to get the whole lot and all those stamps. Just think of the endless possibilities when it comes to those stamps. I've had a blast. Ben, I've had a blast. Well, we are so glad you've had a blast because we've had a blast with you. And uh, thank you, uh, Debbie, for all of your amazing demos. Hey, make sure that you uh, get your hands on this because now you've got this show. Subscribe to us on YouTube and then you've got this show to copy all of the projects uh, that Debbie has made. Oh, before we go, can I just remind you very quickly of our Get It Got It Good deal this week? Uh, if you want to get organised, this is all about organisation. You're going to get yourself the Gemini Desk Caddy, which is super handy for all of those bits and pieces to keep all of your tools in check. And we're going to give you all the tools as well because we're going to give you that acrylic ruler. We're going to give you uh, your die brush tool. We're going to give you your scissors and your low tech tape plus a dispenser as well for that awesome price. Uh, that is flying out the door. I think over 30% of the stock that we had in stock has gone. Uh, and of course, um, it's only available this week or whilst stocks last. We are going to be back in two hours' time. Myself and Debbie for Creative Cravings. Looking forward to this. Uh, we've got some brilliant products on the show, uh, including a Hero Tool deal, which I just know you're going to absolutely love. Uh, the Knitwit Positivity Collection is back, and those layering texture stamps, which have been very popular recently. Uh, of course, tomorrow, don't forget from midday, myself and Jan will be here with you for Wake Up Call, and that you need to tune into specifically if you want to get a sneaky peek at Sarah's Cartlobe taking place tomorrow, 7 o'clock here in the UK. A three hour extravagant. All of that to look forward to. We will be back with you in just a couple. If you've got stuff in your carts and your baskets, make sure you check those carts and baskets out and we will see you for Creative Cravings in just a little while. Bye for now.